a reveal a re reveal this is a reveal of the epic top two run in one twelve percent of the game called Hollow Knight. <laughs> Uh, this is my first ever like commentary slash reaction video ever. I have never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. And I really hope I won't have to like pause the run, so it, it's like a legal SRC submission. But we'll see. Um, as you might know, as you see, my PB at this point is 3 hours 20 minutes and 7 seconds, so it's like top 4. And top 3 has Lex with uh like thir three hours 18 minutes and eight eight seconds yeah so like exactly two minutes away uh if it's valid then yeah cheese if i have to pause it then i will just submit my local recording and put this on youtube separately but as you can see this is just in like normal king's pass whatever i usually don't stress too much about king's pass at all just you know go and what happens, happens. But actually, yeah, you can post your predictions. <laughs> and the best, uh, best who gets, and the runner who gets the closest without going over. Oh shit, hey Blue, you're just in time for the. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Blue, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, chat, Let, let's play a game. Uh, whoever predicts the time of this PB, the closest one without going over, without going over, gets a gift sub. Let, let's, let's, let, let's make it, let's make it like a bit higher. <coughs> yeah, it's guess the time time, but it, it's like not the title's time. <laughs> Thanks for the congrats. And yeah, welcome Raiders, welcome everyone. Uh... Blue didn't walk me back, so I didn't have to, you know, uh, I, I didn't have to change my stream title to top three reveal. <laughs> yeah, minus, we're getting a PB today without using our hands, by the way. This is like the power of my mind. But yeah, so far nothing special. 117 Fury is pretty meh. But yeah, chat, post your predictions. Well, like, the interesting thing is that, uh, the interesting thing is that I d I'm not sure how, like, uh, I'm gonna track. Okay, I will, like, um, open my text editor and will write down the times that I see that are, like, close, but not really. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, this is like, this is a disaster. Like, ha have you seen this, like... Have you seen this fucking Aspid Arena chat? <laughs> this is awful. No, 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 Gustin, I'm not thinking of resetting. This is the thing. Whatever happens on Vengeful Spirit, I just take it. I don't care about Vengeful Spirit at all. Like, yeah, it's unfortunate, but... <laughs> Whatever, whatever. I reset if I die to false knight. That's it. Oh, by the way, if for some like, for some reason, two people guess uh, the right time, um, like th the same time, and it and it's like the closest, I will give subs to both, or like three people if like four people guess, I guess two. I think I won't give more than five. <laughs> I, I don't think it happens, but you know, just 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 to be sure. Yeah, uh, I think I'll stop. Uh, I stop taking like a predictions at uh... okay at like Modwin Cloak. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Blue, why not? Why not? Let's do this. Join. Or like, call me, I don't know how, how to do it properly. 
You're the zoomer, you do the zoomer thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll wait for you. Uh, Manas B, uh, I recorded it yesterday, like yesterday night. Got this run. <laughs> But yes, so far it's pretty cringe early game. And look at this! Oh, I'm I'm clinking I'm clinking his armor to double them one to two one runners. Do you know what will happen to one to two one runners if they will clink false knight armor like that? They will lose 15 seconds to freeze frames. Let's fucking go, current patch. <laughs> uh, uh, main hex. I was running the game for like almost two years already, like a year and a half. I have almost 2000 hours and I, I ran 112 a year ago. So it's not like me running the category from scratch, I returned back to it. And I also ran a bunch of 106, 107 and you know, so yeah. Yeah, I, I have an experience in 1xx, it's not like the first one for me. And look at this 506, blue gets sub 5 like every other run. Look at this bullshit. <laughs> 506. <laughs> yeah, Gustin, that's right. I don't know. I, I was thinking about the sub goal, Gustin, but we'll see. I don't really want to commit to it, though. Uh, a pretty normal uh, mount, I guess. Nothing special. Vengeful didn't go under plot. I was actually surprised here because I really expected uh, him to go under. And I got first speed, let's go. Look at that. <laughs> Stink and poop. -poo -grr. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rix, you keep track of it. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Okay, Rix, the epic bookkeeper of the Hollow Knight speedrunning community. We're saved. I can relax now. I actually I actually opened like a Vim to to, to write them down. <laughs> Magpie, you can guess the final PB time to get the sub if you be the closest without going over. <laughs> Why I use Vim? I mean, it's just first that came to mind. Vim is like just my go-to notepad. <laughs> Blue has 317.29, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, Quack. Hello. Okay, 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 I see. I think maybe like, it, it's, such a, it's such a huge category, maybe I should like do like a range instead of uh, the best time, like for some reason the... Like something like five people like closest, you know, without like going over within like 10 seconds or something like that. Hey Mathul, what's up? <laughs> We were talking about you <laughs> before starting this uh, epic reaction. By the way, I'm not, I'm not like doing a good job. Have you seen me saving nine seconds? It's because I got first speed. Maybe I got like eleventh speed or something crazy. <laughs> but yeah, Mathulu, we were talking about like how you're able to like. Sustain the auditory for like an hour on the tile of the screen at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> it's like some some very blessed skill that you have. I got the first speed blue. <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> but yeah, generally sub seven enter green path. Oh, also I speed on transition, not. Uh, one seconds into green pad blue, just so you know. So maybe also that's why. Yeah, 
Y yeah, Wazanka, I actually, I have, I have actually seen your message yesterday in the chat. We'll, we'll see how it goes. My, immu my immune, immunity is pretty good, but we'll see. And yeah, uh, I got Fury. I didn't get a funny Geo number, but whatever. So far it's a pretty, pretty clean green path, you know? Nothing like super crazy, but haven't done any major mistakes. And I'm minus seven, so great. I didn't fuck up Vengeful King and all that. But look at that Hornet fight. If I remember, I actually don't remember whether it was good or not. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I have Geo OCD Blue, that's why a new route works so well for me. I missed the hit and, oh my god, first attack is jump at the opposite, opposite side of the arena. Then I staggered her. Another jump into the opposite side of the arena, who would have thought? And another jump into the opposite side of the arena. Oh wow, Hornet. That's some blessed patterns. Okay, it's last time to guess the time, last chance. Hey, Zeki T T H G. Okay, like, waiting for the end of the quit out. Early G was really tight, Mathul. It's like really tight. I mean, it's not like, you know, you, you can lose the run. But um, you you can kill Has Guardian the Grub if you're super short, Mathul, but you don't have to do it, it's not necessary. If you get like most of the Geo. Well, I usually fireball uh, mistakes after Spell Twister, which gives me, I guess, extra like 10, 15 Geo. But it's not necessarily... You look at this left side drop. I do this left side drop to collect the soul, but I kind of fucked it up with the hard fall, unfortunately. Uh, I timed and the way I do it saves like a cup saves like a, over a second for my light, right side drop for how I do it and it only but here yeah here I kind of fucked it up so don't don't look at that I usually dodge three husks on the way to sanctum because like I want to have soul and all that 39 guesses okay let's extend the guesses till the end of the claw wow. to make it interesting wow. let's extend it wow. just to remind you you can guess the final tb time without going over and the closest people will get a free sub it's allowed it's allowed so yeah, a little bit of a gambling moment <laughs> but look we are still ahead i lost eight seconds to hornet bullshit i also had didn't play well but i didn't also want to die you know <laughs> Look at this explosion pogo chat. I'm going for one fireball setup and I do it with two when I'm not sure that I will get it. I think this setup was premiered by early not and I think I think was it Allison who posted pretty much like the same version. Like they just kind of independently discovered it. So yeah, this is what I'm going for. Zeki, this is what we will find out today. Okay. Now the submissions are officially closed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was early not and Allison. Pretty much the same setup and yeah, I'm going for it. Kali had another one fireball setup, but I had troubles with it, so I just using that one. <laughs> Look at this nail recall. I just missed like a nail hit on the lever. The interesting uh thing about this movement is that it was actually Axe 2 who pioneered it. OG 1xx uh, runners used to open this Mighty Lord's door after saving Breta. Hmm. History lesson. And Axe uh, figured out that... <laughs> Look at that! What the fuck? I got stuck in mushrooms. Uh... <laughs> this room just won't let me out. But yeah, uh, and actually Ax, I, I think he was saying that he was watching Zev's stream bef before he did even runs himself. And he like theorized that it will be faster to open the Mindless Lord's room on the way out of from Claw. And he was right. It saved like five seconds.
Axe also pioneered not streaming. True. True. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I lost time on uh, City Gate split, but it's alright. I have full HP, this is the most important stuff. Uh, if you have a lot of HP, you can just skip the bench, which saves time. I like this movement to do like... I, I Here I missed the wall cling, so I had to hard fall, unfortunately. But otherwise it was pretty clean. And look at the next room, like, this is actually something I came up with. And this is just beautiful. Not, not this bonk, this bonk is not my branded. But this stuff, look at that. Huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fire stall, couple pogos, and you're up there. Beautiful. <laughs> So far, the only other person who like consistently goes for it is Serpent, surprisingly, and she, she actually, she actually, is, she's actually better than me at this. <laughs> actually, Wazanki Axe did one twelve run at some point. Just never submitted it. Yeah, this is my movement that I do on this husk. I poke and then I like try not to get hit here without bonking also. And then kind of, yeah, I just try to set up movement in a way that they kind of stay out of my way by manipulating their AI. So kind of like that. Yeah, 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 if it's true, this is not flying around. Here I got actually bonked a little bit. <clears throat> my voice cracked. Yep, just like that. Um, it is consistent where he starts going down to you. It's you can't just do it every time. You have to react to the flying guy patterns. Oh yeah, I got trapped in the elevator a little bit. I usually don't get hit there. You see, I'm like collecting Geo here just in case. I barely, I barely lost. I shouldn't have taken this soul, by the way. I don't know why I did that. I usually don't do it. Because I want to get ahead of this, like, yeah. Here's some, like, D-Baby movement. Going, like, up around. Here I, like, fail to dodge, but it's okay. Just one hit for that room. It's pretty cool. Let's look at the soul warrior fight. You usually want to, like, bully soul warrior to the right. So when he dies, you're near the gate. It's not always possible. But this is what you should like strive for to go like on his left. You see what I'm trying to do? I'm going on his left. So he goes to the right. And I go into the to gate just like as it opens. Here's another the baby strat. When you climb up the right uh, wall, he doesn't spawn like inside you. And this is little 1.5 elevator junk. That 1.4 runners don't have that, that, that one 1.4 runners. <laughs> Hellroom was pretty blessed. Here I actually fat fingered the fireball. I didn't mean to fireball him. That was an accident. Yeah, I got hit here. So this is what I do, yeah. I get like... You see, I got like, yeah, 20 Geo from this room. <clears throat> will I do Fury fight chat? Yes, I will. And you know why I went for the... <laughs> I usually don't go for Fury fight when I'm ahead. But <laughs> something interesting started to happen here. Uh, you don't need Hellroom lever. We don't fight Soul Tyrant. I actually figured out that they kind of want to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'll go for Fury fight because I kind of want to the toilet. So if I die, I will just go. <laughs> but apparently it didn't happen. Hey Fabio. <laughs> yeah, so 17 minutes into 4 hour run. I figure that I kinda want you know I kinda wanna pee. <laughs> yeah, Wazanki, that was that was one of the things that held me back the entire run. And second fight, look second fight, look at this fake dive chat. I missed one nail hit. Well, two nail hits. <laughs> that was so cursed. Yeah, 
if I didn't go for Fury, I would have lost like 20 seconds here only for uh, only for the second phase. <laughs> And here we're skipping, uh, here we're skipping the chest, yeah, this is like a reroute. Look at that, I stopped a little bit, didn't dash because I pressed dash too early. And this is a fake dive, something that on current patch works all the time and you don't have to bless the run. Uh, pretty blessed uh, Follis, by the way, didn't fuck me up. And look at the Geo, I have 0, uh, 1078, which is kinda cool, but... Um, a little bit short. Hey, Matt. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this title is a little bit, a, li a little bit cool. A pretty normal Sanctus escape. Nothing like fancy here. Um, I usually go for the soul here, but I br broke it on the way into Sanctum, so I had to miss it. About uh, eleven hundred. <clears throat> But this uh, Geo is fine because um, not like 1100, you need to like 920 Geo after buying store rooms. This is basically it. And yeah, <laughs> nice wall jump by the way. Almost got sniped. Trying to fetch some soul, got hit amazing. Now this guy jumps backwards, I have to get behind him. And here, yeah, I kill those husks too. First because they're on the way and second for an extra Geo. Look at this 34. <clears throat> now I have more than enough Geo. I have actually a lot. <laughs> and here's like, we're buying storerooms for 200 Geo and we're having... Look at this, 912. Pretty good uh, insta insta instant toll, by the way. Yeah, I'll will upload this on YouTube for real, for sure. Here we need to bench. This is like a part of the reroute. I haven't submitted the run, no. <laughs> Look at that more geo, like twelve more geo. A little lever skip here. Definitely not a major glitch. I kind of, yeah, fucked up the movement here a little bit. <laughs> I like this little side pogo. I, I used to do like a pogo on his head, but I've seen someone doing like side pogo, which is cooler. <laughs> wow, on insane top two pace. <laughs> Oh, uh, after seeing King's Pass. <laughs> oh fuck. By the way, that inventory drop was cute. I like doing that. I, I like doing it since all skills. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going for Pogax. I think I should. Because that Gleamback, that's... Yeah, this Gleamback is kind of annoying if he goes away from you. Nice uh, clink. Look at this bench pogo, oh beautiful. And this is just like a normal spike tunnel, like little pogo here, yeah. <laughs> Can test true power of Simo, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going for God Cycle here, yeah. Look at this God Cycle, beautiful. And Pogo without mistakes. That got cycle room with the wall clink. Uh, I think Axe pioneered it. And it's very comfortable to go for. A pretty normal key room movement. Look at the pace, by the way. Minus 18 is due to reroute time save. I forgot to mention, but skipping the Sanctum chest saves like 14 seconds, something along these lines. <laughs> Oh, the inventory drop, beautiful. I think I missed this one. Yeah, I missed this one. Have to go for the dive, but it's fine. Uh, 
Will he fuck up the Crystal Heart Gauntlet? Let's find out. You see, chat, I'm a coward. I'm at full HP and I'm going for the Heatless. Heatless cycle. Yikes. Blech. Ooh, the underplot. Yeah, Jenker, I'm playing without my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Got so g baited. <laughs> Jenker, do, do you really think I would put this bullshit in the title? <laughs> Look at this pogo, also kind of cute. Sets up a couple nice, uh, nice wall jumps. Uh, stop my crystal dash, by the way. So let me tell you something about crushes. Crushes in this game are camera dependent, which means that their cycle is controlled by how you approach them. So I'm going a bit to the right here. So I set up the crushers and now I can dash right over, right under. Do you see that? Beautiful. I don't have to wait here. And I don't have to get like an inventory drop. Yes, and look at that. Oh my god, so beautiful. 1.5, I love you so much. Oh. <laughs> I stopped here to not get into it again. Actually, this can happen on 1.2 and 1.42 if you land right on the corner. But apparently on 1.5 it happens regardless of where you land. So like, it's not 1.5 exclusive bug, but they made it so much worse. <laughs> Look at the boggy skip. We're doing very intentional movement here to set up the Crystal Hunter to hit us out of the dark animation. And I landed on that platform, almost dunking into spikes. That was very cool. Just seven pogos do a little... yeah. I'm getting bonked. Yeah, the price you pay for fake dives exactly was Anki. <laughs> Missed the inventory drop. I had to burn the soul. Hi, Junker. Here's where I like usually stand up and stretch a little bit, you know, how it goes. Uh. Yo, JX, hello. This is a little trick called like, we call it like the sketch dash or the dream dash, where you like dream into the corner corrected first platform so you don't have to wall jump and look at that, oba, and yeah, you go right. It's it's kind of precise, and if you fuck it up, you can lose 11 seconds, but it's worth it, believe me. No, I didn't go to toilet, <laughs> and I won't go. Yeah, I think I will upload this to <clears throat> Manas. I actually plan to upload it on YouTube. The next thing we will do is like crystal dash early control. So you just press crystal dash and see dash out of the room. It just works. You don't have to do anything for it. <laughs> Opening the resting grounds, instant crystal dash and off. Nice gold. Will he get an inventory drop? Oh, second try and camera is not there. This is part of the route. We just get a uh, soul eater. Here I kinda did the coward strat. I, you see, I'm at 3 HP, so I decided to just play it safe like this. Lose a little bit of time, but at least I don't die. Hey, Mr. Sir, hello. Opened the both walls for flower quest later. Yep, and... Save and quit.
<laughs> Interesting learn. Look at the pace, I'm 31 seconds ahead. Well, like 25 of those are the reroute. Yeah, I've experimented with mouse, mouse quitouts a little bit, but then I kind of just like said fuck them, I will quit out normally. <laughs> nice bonk here, by the way. And like regular stuff, early control, um, in hazard respawn. <clears throat> Yeah, I think they are like almost half a second faster in current patch was Anki. <laughs> Hex, you're welcome. Pretty clean, uh, clean cleanup. Can you even say that? But yeah, nice one. And here's where we start losing time. Yeah, because uh, we get Soul Eater and it loses time to save time later. So here are we losing time to the reroute. And look at how tight the Geo is. Elegant Key costs 800 and I have 816. So, for example, if I didn't kill the mistakes or I didn't kill the uh, raw husk on simple here, I would have to kill the guard. So, yeah, it's pretty tight. <clears throat> here, recalling the stag and doing the charm menuing while waiting for it. Amazing stack menu. <laughs> yeah, three five seconds of time loss, by the way. Went to green path instead of uh, store rooms. Second try, inventory drop, it still kind of saves time. Yeah, yeah, just RNG manipulation for real. Um, here I will have another reroute. I've posted it in Discord, but nobody uses it besides me. And um, the reroute is called Make Your Life Easier. Usually in 112, you don't want to get hit here because you won't have the bench up until basing. So if you get hit, you have to heal because you have two mandatory damage tanks. So you try to play it a bit safer because healing loses soul and time, and like, oh my god, so cursed. So I made something interesting, so I don't have to greed HP on the way to Dunk Defender. Because as it usually goes, you should preserve your HP here, then you do two damage tanks on Dunk Defender, and then you like optimally you get a Worm Skip into Isma's tier, Worm Power Control, which, go, which puts your HP down to 1. And then you have like RNG bridge ahead of you. So nobody goes for the horn barely control in 112. Unless you like have a lot of HP for some reason. <clears throat> and it bothered me. Here this guy kind of tried to fuck me a little bit. And I missed the grab. <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a time loss here. <clears throat> You like want to get a neutral dash there, so the guy doesn't go on the left, and I kind of fucked it up. Oh, beautiful current patch uh, elevators that push you away. <laughs> Here, I prefer to stop early because yeah, I don't always, I can't always react to forms. I don't like using HP here. This is something I stole, I think, from Lexer. 
hitting this uh, flip-flop uh, from below and just get like a free soul kind of sloppy movement <clears throat> will I get the quick kill chat will I get it look at this go strength of the platform and now I don't have to worry about the optimal fight, I can just damage tank all I want. Look at that chat. And I got hit by the poo, but I don't care because the reroute is coming. Usually if you get hit, get hit like that, you're just screwed. It instantly becomes so much cursed. Because you have like a spike tunnel and Isma skid. Isma skip. But I'm doing something here, chat. I'm doing something interesting here. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Sir, that's a fair point. Look at this. Oh my god, beautiful. Well, not the heartfall. Heartfall is not beautiful, but everything else is like, Mwah. just the best thing in the world. Kind of stopped it earlier. A little ceiling boost with a dash. Kinda neat. <laughs> yeah, hard fall. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't interact with the bench because, like, why should I? <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing, like, a lot of small mistakes here, like, small movement mistakes for some reason. Nice, heatless Malark. Oh, shit. Hey, really. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the raid. Welcome, raiders. We are reacting, by the way. Reacting to the new 112% top 2 speed run. So I think you will feel right at home. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> I fucked up the base and skip. Oh my god. Hello, hello, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Hey, really. Uh, hello. I hope I'm not butchering your name. I, I never I was never sure how to pronounce it. But yeah, hi hi. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Oh I got it. Let's go. Oh yeah, a minute of a time save is uh, a bit fake because I skipped Ismas. We'll lose this minute later, don't worry about it, chat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good, thanks. You love speedruns, where? Here we're watching speedruns. I didn't submit yet, Jenker. No spoilers for you. Lost quite a bit of time because I staggered him earlier, so it's like, oh my god, and I bonked here. Look at this five seconds of a time loss. Oh, what a disaster. I mean, you can claim it after submission, don't worry. Any tips how beat broken vessel on the first run? Get a descending dark first, or desolate dive. And spam it. This lost skin fight is just beautiful chat. Look at this, this is like a cam sop by the way. Absolutely flawless. Uh, all the damage tanks I do here are absolutely intentional, as you know, we need to uh, damage warp. So yeah, just look at this, and beautiful attack that is just like a jump in the opposite corner of the arena. The best attack this boss can have. Yeah, and my beautiful reaction to kind of <laughs> jump away. And here, this is like a middle of the fight and I'm already at 1 HP. Will I heal? 
This is a good question. <laughs> Will I die? Will I get bonked? Well, I survived. And I didn't get an early control. <laughs> oh, and look at the time loss. Look at the time loss, chat. Oh. Yeah, optimal death warp. Death warp into my bedroom. While crying. <laughs> 17 seconds to gold. Ah, that hurt. <laughs> if you think this is the last mistake of the run, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> In fact, this run had a lot of surprises. <laughs> uh yeah 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 kind of i kind of reviewing for mistakes uh noting down what i need to practice just having fun because i got this run offline like i didn't stream it so i figured i might as well provide a little of content <laughs> Milk my own stuff, you know how it goes. <laughs> when it's loud mode and all that. Normally I will just submit it, but yeah, it's like three hours. So I decided to might, might as well stream it. I, I I wouldn't be doing run today's any today anyway because I usually have this like PB hangover, hangover, hangover. Yeah. Uh, when the day after I get like a big PB, I just can't play. So I figured, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bye, Fabio. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's. Hey, it's Laurent. Thanks a lot, appreciate it. This is, like, pretty basic uh, glowing womb split. The one thing I want to note here is that, as you can see, uh, the breakable wall wasn't broken and I had to break it with Shade Soul. This is actually what I'm going for now consistently. I just don't wait for the big has conventional spirit to open it. I just skip it entirely. <laughs> that was a weird wall jump. <laughs> okay, let's look at this uh, fight. Oh, barely clutched it. And he jumped and I missed one of the ticks. And I missed another tick and oh wow, I don't have any more soul and he has so much HP. I was so like bamboozled by that fact. But I kind of throw in this fight, and now I have to do like, oh yeah, like the moonwalk jump, very beautiful. But at least I got through the first phase. <laughs> I always killed that maggot quack for Geo. And I got bonked by the rock. Uh, thanks for the GG's, Matula, and thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. See you. And uh, the secret of this fight, of the tantrum phase, is that you don't look at the boss. You don't look at the boss at all. You look at the rock. At the rocks. You should learn the rhythm of his maze, so you don't have to look at him for triples. And you can like consciously dodge the rocks. This is the essential part of the second phase. <laughs> uh, uh. And I'm writing down to practice fail champion because this is not the first time I fucked it up. Three hours commentary without no bathroom break. Yeah, this is true. 
This is a disaster. Uh, you sh you just shouldn't get into a situation where you miss them, Vazanki. You should just... It's better to wait for the occasion to do proper DPS, so you just don't rush it. Hey, Spirity, thanks for the good luck. I guess the only luck I need is no power outage or internet outage. <laughs> Yep, fell down. Oh no, this is the spirit overlord of the cyclone slash. 56 with a unique one of a kind layout, I see. No 55, I sleep. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm kidding, GG's. Oh, like, like you're, 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 you're so fucking close. <laughs> Uh, commentary video is not pre-recorded, and if it's true, don't yeah, worry. I'm not that good. Hmm, <laughs> Riggs, that's like an interesting one. So people are doing that. People are thinking that, that I bopped blue by like a little bit. Like 30 seconds, no more. Look at this early control chat. You lured the Vengefly and you dream nailed the fucker right before and then you kind of get hit. I could have made it better. You can get it like instantly. Oh yeah, and here like I lost my crystal dash because of early control. <clears throat> Kinda fucked a little bit. Yeah, yeah, big shout outs to A-Press who lobbed it out. I adapted it to 112 and the best version saves 5 seconds in 112. So yeah, big shout outs. And it's also like, it's also very consistent. Yeah, yeah, Rix. Um, I will open that actually, like right now, just like in case you have to go. I'm, I'm, I'm like having it. Oh, oh, it's like distribution. I see. Look at the Wiggles chat. Almost. Fuck. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Second try. Yes, yeah, purity can't predict PB anymore. Yeah, learn exactly. Look at the Johnny's new strats, by the way. Nice. And you can crystal dash all the way, just like right at the end. Very consistent. There's another strat that's 0.8 faster, but it's also way riskier, so I'm going for this one. That was very clean joints. I lost time to my gold because of no, because I kind of screwed up early control a little bit. And uh, wiggles. Otherwise, it was pretty clean. And here, like, we're getting, getting a Grim Child. Now we're, we will be getting a bit of a time loss because we skipped uh, Dream Shield after C Peaks and we will be getting it now. Hey Valvi, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Nistru, you're right. I pre recorded the commentary and now I'm actually doing the run without using my hands. Yes, 
Zero goes down pretty quickly. A little like a little rhythm cue when the dreamer like pops off, you do four nail hits and then dream nail. Yeah, for some reason sometimes dream nail sound just like kinda goes away. I don't know why, Gustin. Here's where we are getting uh, getting the dream shield. It's like a couple seconds faster than getting it after um, after dream nail. It's like right on the way. <laughs> Interesting one, Gustin. I actually don't remember Vazanki at this point, whether I got it or not. But yeah, this will be like an 8 seconds of a time loss, if I recall correctly, because of the Dream Shield, so it's just a part of a reroute. Well, it should have been 8, I just kind of... I guess my gold just not that, not that good. My previous gold wasn't that good. Or maybe it's not 8, maybe it is 7. I don't know. Don't question me, chat. <laughs> Deep focus is the split that I recently fucked up on stream and lost 40 seconds to it. So I practiced it offline. So what do you think, chat? Will it go well? Or will I fuck it up again? Let's find out right now. Hey, bro, in your gaming. Welcome to the stream. Cheers! This is some movement I loved as well for current patch. What basically what I'm doing is I'm charging my cyclone and cyclone the grab like that. Without going onto that platform. And here I miss the wall jump, nice one. <laughs> I got bone here, stop my crystal dash, but that, this is like alright. <laughs> I bit of a time loss here because I stopped my crystal dash early. Uh, here comes the Zalian cycle. Will he get it or will he miserably fuck up right as he does on stream? This is a bad sign. Oh my god, what is happening here? Yo, sort of. And I missed the wall jump, but I kind of saved it. Look at that save. Oh, and, and I, I... I mean... So... It's like... <laughs> mini Zalian cycle. You know, we take those. Considering the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, the Zalian cycle. Hey, Serpent. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I assume you, like... <laughs> It was doing 106 and by the timing of the raid it didn't go as well as planned, so I'm sorry. But welcome raiders! Hello. Fun fact, uh, yes, this guy wakes up, unlike on 1.4, but unlike on 1.2, you can damage him with the spell immediately. Which makes this fight incredibly fast. You'll get their Serpent. Here I'm trying to play a little bit safe, because I have 3 HP, which means I will go down to 1 HP and I want to damage tank. So it, it went well, a bit safe, but well. Lost only 3 seconds. Very cool. Yeah, I see Serpent. It's like PB hangover. Hangover. I know how it how it feels. 
Okay, look at that chat. Uh, 106 runners slapped the stuff. <laughs> of course they fucked it up. <laughs> but you get the idea. You get the idea, right? I dropped this Crystal Dash, I actually timed it and Serpent was right. Well, Crystal Dash version... Like, can be faster than dashes. But it's so tight to make it faster. And on average, just dashing will give you a better result. Just because of human, like, execution mistakes. So yeah, doing this movement here for now. <clears throat> Thanks, Serpent. But besides that fucked up hazard respawn, that double pretty clean split, and since my splits are not optimized, I got a gold. Hey, Swift, thanks. And hey, Marcy, thanks as well. But yeah, for those of you who are new, who are just joined, this is not actually a run. This is a pre recorded PB. Look at my stream title. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, hey, troll, hello. <clears throat> Here we're buying Lantern and Mask Shard. We're buying a Mask Shard for two reasons here. First, to get a health refill in waterways after getting RNG warmed, of course. And the second one, we need to get out of the shop. And the best way to get out of the shop is buy an upgrade, which kind of, yeah. Kicks you out. Here I'm going for the, like, um, ceiling boost, kind of fucked up a little bit. <laughs> Pretty decent movement on Great Slash, not like insane god tier, but okay. We take those, like, pretty clean. There is nothing to reframe River, this run is perfect, no mistakes whatsoever. Hey, you run. Thanks for the GG's. <laughs> um, if you are familiar with 1 to 2 1 cycles here, you can notice that I'm not crystal dashing into the room. And it's because those flying motherfuckers are on a different cycles. So you have to do a different strat for current patch. <clears throat> and it's true, this is a very good question about the map. Uh, my secret is that I printed a huge, huge Hollow Nest map and put it on my wall, right behind my monitor. So I'll just look at it, always. It has everything on it. I don't need, like, compass or anything for that. As far as I'm aware, it's not banned by the leaderboard rules. Oh, by the way, look at, uh... Hmm... Well, actually, no. I think I fucked it up. I lapped out a cool cycle here, but... Well... <laughs> yeah, very nice one. Hey, Picardy. Uh, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> very cool cycle, I know. I don't have a lot of soul here, which is unfortunate. But it's fine. <laughs> a bit like, a bit stupid here. And then I wanted to crystal dash, then I like reconsidered crystal dash and like, oh my god. Ah, that was painful. That was actually painful. Also yeah, 69 Geo. Here I went safer, as you remember I don't have Isma's tier. And I went down to 3 HP, so I kind of just started to, like, be afraid here. <clears throat> Definitely a time loss. Look at that, my gold for Massive Most Charger is 1 minute 56 seconds. And here I am already at 140. Yeah, Gusen, that's, a, that's like a good idea too, for when I don't have soul. Generally, 112 here doesn't have soul because we save and quit. And 106 dream gates into the green path. So I don't know what to do here. Actually, I have an idea. But I need to practice. Massive Moss Charger 
dies pretty soon. It's just two quick casts of Shade Soul, and I mash spell here. This is one of those places where I don't time my spell, I just mash it. it it's easier in this like short, short segment. <clears throat> Little soul collection on the birds, and then it's Cyclone Slash. Yeah, boy. As you might know, after Holland and Wraiths, 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 after that upward spell, we will, should be, we will fight no eyes, which is like very scary at 3 HP. Unfortunately, I don't have PB times for these splits because they are new. It's like it was a part of the reroute. But I know that I lost time to Massive Moss Charger. But I also remember that on my PB I lost like 30 seconds to No Eyes because I was fighting for my life. And here I, I got like... I did a stupid thing and pogo the Jellyfish. You should never do it. But I got away. I dodged the explosion. Oh, by the way, we need to practice green path. Green path. I'm actually keeping track of like stupid mistakes and what to practice. The arena went surprisingly well though. Well, almost. A little mishap. I think I decided to heal. No, I decided not to heal. Yeah, by the way, I kind of wanted to bathroom by this point already. So, I t took a lot of things quite aggressively. <laughs> it's like the worst thing, when you get a long run going, but you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Look at no eyes, chat. Instant teleport. Do the dodge. Double. And... Oh, but yeah, okay. That was pretty good. That dodge was pretty, pretty, pretty well done. And yeah, again, the Dreamer pops off, you do 4 nail hits on Dream Nail, and it aligns nicely for a very cool essence collection. Don't have Dream Wilder equipped. And I won't over charm just for that. <laughs> First try. <clears throat> We'll see, we'll see. Pretty average Grimkin, nothing like out of this world. It wasn't bad, it wasn't godlike. Just alright. Nice gold. The post elevator section was pretty clean. <clears throat> now we're going to Dirt Mouth to collect a Grim Child upgrade and then continue the fetch quest, starting with the King's Pass Green King. Whole night we are, I don't know how it would feel like the 2D games, eh? I wonder if they're like Skyrim VR speedruns. There probably, there should be, right? 
Like there just ha have to be Skyrim VR speedruns. <laughs> oh, slid down the wall, have to do the wings. <laughs> my heart. Like for some reason I I'm my take on speedruns are so fucked. I I don't like mistakes like that, like small sloppiness. Kind of gets me frustrated, but big chokes are fine. Bad RNG is fine too. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting one, Gusti. Different speedrunners get... Also, look at the pace, holy fuck, minus 140. But I will lose a lot of time now because I will get Ismas at this point. This split is interesting. <clears throat> I save like 40 seconds here and then I lose like a minute here. So like both three routes just came down to this one split. And first try inventory drop was so sexy. I don't know why I dashed here, it's just straight up slower. This nice background object pogos are exclusive to current patch by the way. 1 to 2 1 can't have them because those pillars are not pogable. We don't, know, we don't go to creeps because we already have soul eater, which means we have a nice amount of soul for the Grimkin. We can just go straight back. And I got bonked. Not a big deal. Bench it soon. I think I screwed up this arena a little bit. I mean, it's like okay so far. Oh yeah, I missed the flying guy, but yeah, thankfully I got recovered very, very, very fast. So a bit of a time loss here. Like got bonked there, a bit of a time loss here, dashed. You know, little sloppiness. This, all these little sloppy mistakes, like a second here, a second there, you know, they add up to a minute on in this category. Nice cyclone into the elevator, by the way. <clears throat> by just cleaning up those small mistakes, you will save like a couple minutes on your PB. Now we're going for Isma's tier. I think I will put a grab split there, like Isma's grab. Imagine that all of this backtracking through the city and down to the basin is still faster than getting it after Dunk Defender. I timed it like very thoroughly, it's like a couple seconds faster. Nice cycle drops. And look at that, you don't need Crystal Dash here because you have wings. Oh, beautiful. And it nicely aligns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope too. Okay, I need to look it up. You just do like an early control. Oh, I've seen, I've seen you choking it, Serpent. How dangerous it is. Here, like, don't make sure not to like accept the fucking Isma tier. If you accept it while in the acid and get early control, you would, you will fall underwater, <laughs> which is a major glitch. So you swim steadily up until that gap. And then you can jump out of out of it. Yes, what Jenker says. So don't do a major glitch here. It's very easy to avoid. It's extremely easy to avoid. You just don't have to like painstakingly mash the jump. <laughs> or do major glitches and submit to a different leaderboard. Here I kinda fucked it up a little bit. That's just a regular uh, Kingdom's Edge movement. It's the same thing you do in True Ending, in all skills, and in like a bunch of meme categories.
Yeah, I... F yeah, I f I don't know what I did here. Don't question that. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so far there was like the only like major fuck up was like what? Lost Kin and uh, failed champion. Both lost uh, like 40 seconds together. Yeah, here I didn't have like soul. And for some reason Hornet decided that she won't get any doubles. Have you seen, like, this is such a scam? Where are my doubles? Where are doubles? Well, that was on me. I... Shade Soul was too too late here. I, I can... I can admit that. And here I just knew that he... she's dead, so... Let's went for the D-Dark. Like, n now I see. Now I see that couple of those doubles were on me. But I disagree with couple others. So I... I write Practice Horner too. Yeah. I, I write, I'll write it down. Yeah, bro, I just generally out of practice for Lostkin and uh, Failed Champion. Just need to kind of lap them out a little bit. Like, this is long category and I don't have a lot of time, so I have to choose very carefully what I practice and what I don't practice. You know? Now we're finally getting our main source of damage. Abyshrik. Yeah, I miss it exactly. There's always something to practice and... Um, <laughs> Look, that's not really. Uh, good question, Rasputin. It means you need to press 3 down on stack menu. I collect a little bit of soul here for the Descending Dark. Like, these two nail hits are unnecessary. Now I know that. Like a depressing teen. You're not wrong there. <laughs> nice ceiling boost. I like the ceiling boost. <laughs> I wonder if that's gold. That was pretty clean. Yeah. My, my golds are not very optimized, but yeah, that was like, okay. I did like a couple nail hits that I didn't need to do, but other than that, it was pretty decent. Here I uh, screwed up the crystal dash. Yikes. Reset. <laughs> Pretty normal shake quick movement. And let's see what RNG shades will have for us, chat. Oh, it's gonna be blessed. Oh no, they like they separated. Like this is so cursed. Uh, this is my fault. I kinda panicked a little bit. I should have went for the wall wall cling there. The beginning was cursed, but then it was just my mistake. Like better in at the start, but I shouldn't botch it as hard as I did. So it's like, you know, uh, it's a sketchy one. You can play in the game a little bit. Yeah, they're separated. I don't like when they're separated like that. Because when you winks for the dash into the wall, the upper one just gets on top of you so quickly. So yeah, naturally I lost some time. Actually, I lapped out this fucking early control here. You need to hold up in current patch to get it. Just like that. For some reason, if you just mash Dream Nail, it won't work as it does on 1 2 2 1. Maybe they're FPS dependent, Serpin, on current patch. Just like, like, just like Infected Finch Flies. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, pressed inventory before sitting on the bench, classic. But yeah, at this point, by the way, at this point, the pace is pretty real. Now all the routes, well, most of the routes, most of the reroute is done. There's like 
about I think four seconds of time save left. But yeah, this is like a real pace. At this point, I'm minus one minute and twenty seconds ahead. And I think that should be at gold because of the early control. I think so? No, why? What did I fuck up? Ah, whatever. <laughs> I started going for a cycle and drop here instead of the dark because I want to preserve soul. This is so high, if Horp is on the way, he'll bonk you. But I got lucky here. And this is a nice part of 112%. First, we have Shade Soul to clear flukes. Just like that. Second, we get a health refill. So even if you screwed up, you can get another mask chart here. Very, very blessed. Uh, DeLorean, I mean, you hang out in Discord and watch other runners. This is your main source of new reroutes. Oh yeah, this worm got stuck. <laughs> so I lost some time here as well. <clears throat> so main way to get informed about your routes in new tricks first is invent them yourself. This is the first way. Second way, uh, you just hang out in community spaces and be aware of them. Third way is you watch verified runs so three main ways <laughs> oh fourth way just watch until somebody goes to your chat and backseats you this is another way very good one that was actually a decent breta i lost time to fluke serena but other than that, it was pretty good. Yeah, not throwing Breta, insane. <laughs> what the fuck? Ay, ay. The karma for flexing on strats. The karma in past time. You should be careful for this guy, because if you hit him to the right, he can like lever skip you through the wall. A nice hard fall. <laughs> I absolutely screwed this fight. First, I had to waste a lot of spells on the first Mantis. And look at that. They give me such a good RNG. Like, two already. This is like a. Well, it was a gold pace if I didn't fuck up in the moment. And now I screwed up one Shriek and screwed up second Shriek. Yeah, I screwed up two shrieks. Yikes. Look at the time loss. Nine seconds. It's a cyclone drop just for soul. And I, you see, I collected 11 Geo. Because I know that late game Geo will be super tight. And in hindsight, like, I rerouted something with the help of blue so it will be work nicer in future runs but here I'm kind of greedy for Geo oh yeah yeah Rix I will continue running 112 I'm like not done with the category yet I mean 112 is my favorite category if I have if I have time to run it I will run it and I have time now well, it's a very degen time. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, but still. Uh, no, Moonshine, we skip the seal. We have a lot of extra g other geo and here, like, oh, landing on mushrooms. What the fuck? And then <laughs> getting hard fall. Oh. That was painful. That was painful, chat. Need to practice that, okay. 
Amanti Lords and Fungal Core. I'm writing down things to practice. <laughs> and we're doing overcharmed green fight chat look at the consistency my pace minus 121 i just like i just kept the pace <laughs> that's a very nice one Will he fuck this up? Got three hits, not four. That was beautiful. I got the spot, the save spot absolutely perfectly, like first try without any adjustments. Oh, and the cyclone for soul clash. And and he goes up and I'm like, no, miss nail hit, miss nail hit, missed three nail hits, and now I'm panicking kind of because it's like and Oh my god, just barely clashed it. Let's go. Look at my soul. I'm like absolutely depleted. I don't have any more spells left. <laughs> the only thing that carried me is that I perfectly got the safe spot un uh, underneath him. <clears throat> I'm getting like a beautiful gold. Let's go. Uh, 17 seconds of a time loss here is because I used to buy the vessel fragment, but it's like super slow, and now I don't have money for it anyway. So, like, win win situation. Yeah, there is a uh, Matlinai, I just got it in the run. Otherwise, we wouldn't fight him over charmed, like, holy shit. <laughs> Screwed up movement here. And here we're equipping Dash Master, the favorite charm of all speedrunners. <clears throat> Since I don't have Spell Twister here, I have to collect more soul. So I go for this cycle. It's a bit slow uh, compared to normal Dash Master movement, but it gives you soul, which is very good. Look at this shade. So I sh shade cloak. I shade cloak through the infected blob. That was pretty, like, big brain move. <clears throat> yeah, in perfect uh, Brutin Malak fight. Uh, people are damage tanking. If you mean 106 runners, then they are damage tanking intentionally. Some of the patterns require damage tank. And... In this fight, you sometimes just get hit because the spot is quite precise and it's a little bit of random. Like, it's not perfectly, it's not like 100% safe. But it's enough safe to get the kill every time. Yeah, this, well, this Fog Canyon was pretty clean. I think I got hit once. But other than that, this looks like a gold. Nice down dash and a gold, yeah. Yeah, fucked up, Trinomi drop. Yeah, Moonshine, this is a good point. Nice dash. <laughs> Just charm notch. Kind of a sloppy movement here, not gonna lie. At least I got the clean dash. <clears throat> Cyclone drop into the mushrooms, pretty cool. Just the bench to equip spell twister. Yeah, just for disclosure, hitless grim doesn't always happen. I usually get hit at least once, sometimes twice. Sometimes I get hit three times and die. That was like all right movement, nothing out of this world. This is 
is all collection for Elder Who, and I here I screwed up the dash a little bit. <clears throat> so you see, I'm doing like sloppy mistakes, like small sloppy mistakes. Oh, and this is so bad, like he just teleported out of my shrieks. Optimal fight, just so you know, optimal fight is you do three shrieks and he dies. This is the optimal fight. So you can lose a lot of time here. Uh, yes, yeah, say we were discussing it today and it's actually worth, I timed it. You equip, sh uh, you should equip uh, Defender's Crest in Dirt Mouth and then equip it after the after Legitter. And it's pretty, pretty quick. You don't have to do it, you can get the accidental Geo, but it's very sketchy. And you will see why later. But look at the pace chat, minus 1 minute and 49 seconds ahead. Good. This is not top 2 pace yet though. <laughs> not even top 3 pace yet. Will Umu give extra attacks? Will I fuck it up again? In my PB I got to cycle Umu because I screwed up the kind of rotation. No, that was a perfect RNG Umu, holy shit. Heartfall, boom. This is supposed to be a down dash. Yeah, this is like still easy gold. And here dies Monomon the teacher. She's canonically a nerd. <laughs> and this is what we do with nerds in the speedrun. We kill them. <laughs> the only nerd we spare is Cornifer. <laughs> But look at the pace. <clears throat> now it is already top three pa top three pace. I'm over two minutes ahead at this point. Uh, yeah, I screwed up this movement a little bit and I think I get hit here. Yeah, yeah, you should like down dash through the jelly. <clears throat> Nice cyclone. A bit sloppy as well. A lot of like a lot of little movement I do here is kind of sloppy. <clears throat> you see someone like monster and like his movement is you know polished. I think polished is a good word. He, he just you know he's just like zooming through the rooms very in a, in a very clean in a very clean fashion. And he, then you look at your movement and it's like a bit you know jarring and stuttery. And all that. So th this is the thing you need to clean up, like just general movement through the rooms. And 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 it requires just like time and discipline. Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> I swear I never had I, I never did this mistake before. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> yeah, Polish in general movement is something that requires a big, big, big discipline. I yell practice and very conscious I yell practice, by the way, not just mindlessly going through the rooms on autopilot. 
by the way, fuck RNG essence, we're going for the gamer strats. <clears throat> and the gamer strats is collect the minimum amount of essence from this tree you need. <clears throat> Love key was bad because I dunked into spikes. <laughs> Practice makes you a bigger nerd than the Monomon. No. No. Practicing makes me uh, fast. <laughs> fast at bullying the nerds. Oh, the dash away from the wall. Like, mistakes like that are kind of the most, uh, most sad for me. Like, small things. Small things like that add up more than, like, one 40 seconds time loss. Things like that add up to minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a bit more. <clears throat> 106 goes for 1208 here. And I got 1205. That's like a bit sketchy. <laughs> so collecting 1205 here will mean that I actually still depend on essence RNG. But now I need, need to get like 3 or 4. And that's it. <clears throat> yeah, this arena uh, missed the hit and didn't get a double. He got hit. Oh, yeah, that that was nasty. And I killed my fucking soul. Ah. This Dreamnail was so painful, but I mean, I didn't get tilted. So we take those. Got hit once and, you know... It could have been, could have been worse. That was very dirty arena. Like, it's not how it usually goes. How it's supposed to go. But we get through with only one hit. So, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> And I drop this crystal dash. I just dash into the room because they, I get hit all the time. So I can just get hitless here. And fucking troll. <clears throat> and here, yeah, square hitbox is my favorite. Just fucking kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, 2 HP. Got hit by the frogs three times. Three times is average amount of time to get hit by frogs, by the way. <clears throat> I decided to heal. That was a very good call. Don't shy away from the heal here. If you get hit here, it's like, ah, oh, awful. Marmu dies to two quick shrieks. If at least one of them hit four, hits four, then she will die. And I decided to not save and quit. I'm not a coward who save, saves and quits at four HP, like, come on. Oh yeah, QG Arena, QG Arena. Keep uh, track of things I need to practice. I think I went for soul here, yeah. I'm going for soul here to heal in the downtime in the arena. <laughs> Flipper will make the mod that removes the frogs. <laughs> Should replace uh, frogs with worms.
<laughs> yeah, this gate is just broken, it lets you in. It doesn't care about your shade cloak uh, cooldown. Fun fact, you can kill them while they're spawning. You just need to time it pr properly. I decided not to go for the uh, scream skip here. Just like get a lot of shrieks. Yeah, here I kinda got trapped a little bit, but he was already dead. So I never worried. Oh, dash away! <laughs> Losing a little bit of time. <sighs> Look at the split name. It actually carried me here. I almost forgot. Look at the pause. Like, I hesitated here. Because I forgot. I accidentally like dropped on this platform. Need to practice that too. Oh, I need to practice deep nest. My deep nest was out of practice for like a long time already. This is PB, you believe? Thanks for believing in me. <laughs> it is, yeah. If somebody joined and don't understand what happens, just in case, it's a pre-recorded PB. I'm reacting to pre-recorded run. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm actually on like a two-minute PB pace right now. <laughs> yeah, like, as I said at the beginning, I started wanting to bathroom at Soul Master. And like, it's already an hour and a half into the run. And yeah, I remember that it was getting to me like real hard. Maybe a lot of my mistakes was, were because of that. But it's hard to say right now. I'm saying that because I want to go to bathroom right now. <laughs> Fucking bathroom breaks are the biggest enemy of 1xx speedrunners. <laughs> I think I'll go like rush to bathroom at maybe uh, at some next downtime, like nail three or something. Nice time save. God time save. No, grubs are kind of... I don't hang out with chat on grubs. Also, nail 3 is like split where not, nothing happens. That was pretty alright. Got good RNG from spiders and nice soul collection. Equip Shaman Stone, yep. Yeah, Blue wanted to join, but I guess he got like... He got some business to take care of, probably. Which is fine. It's some, just like some grubs collection, nothing special. Um... Yeah, I missed 5 Geo here. I, 
I'm missing some geo on the way, and I'm also like collecting some extra geo that I don't really kind of shouldn't collect normally. But it's because I'm worried about my pure nail situation. And I actually should. Oh yeah, I dashed the wrong way. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, the hit. Oh no. I mean, honestly, I think that <laughs> it's Blue who will get like a world record eventually. Blue gets something uh, nobody else have and it's time. And I'm not saying that it's unfair advantage. It's actually what you need to grind a category like that. <laughs> so like, we and Lex, we are kind of there, but I think like we understand that Blue will, like in the long run, Blue will be ahead of us. Well, at least uh, yeah, I won't speak for Lex, of course. Like, I, I don't know, like, Lex plants or anything, but I kind of speak for myself. <laughs> I don't see myself, like, as a uh, very competitive in the long run in this category. At some point, I will have to stop, you know, <laughs> to prioritize family or something. <laughs> Unless, I don't know, like, my stream on YouTube blow up and I get, like, million of stonks. And will speed run for a living, which I mean, will, like realistically never happens. And I don't even think I kind of want it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, um, Galen and Trump pass went pretty all right. I fucked up a Dream Gate because I pressed Crystal Dash for some reason, but other than that, it was all right. Oh, and I definitely watched this arena. Uh, this arena is interesting. So, um. The order at which these uh, bugs are spawn is consistent, but the timing of spawn is RNG. It's like so cursed. It's like half consistent and half random, and I'm like out of soul here. Yeah. Yeah. HKFSM in a nutshell. Nice shade cloak here. Yeah, Gusen, actually in in hindsight I think I think it's true. I probably just got lucky that time. Because I then practiced uh, him offline and he did like third attack. So my theory is probably just bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, that was a good guess anyway. A pretty normal Nosk movement. I didn't forget any crystal dashes, which is good. And here, like, all optimal dash into the hole without any wings or something. Yeah, Dash Master here rocks. I go for Dash and Shriek. Pretty nice beginning in my opinion. Then he just jumps, but he jump he didn't jump on the platform. He didn't jump on the platform. He jumped onto my head. Luckily he jumped into the ceiling right away, so I got decent DPS. But then he starts jumping around and goes back into the ceiling immediately. It's like, this fight is really weird, because on the one hand he gave me a lot of shrieks, 
On the other hand, there was a section where he just jumped around and lost me time. So I end up losing a little bit to my gold, but not too much, which is very good. I, I consider it to be a decent Nosk fight. And there we go, sharp shadow dash master practice cycle. And I fuck it up immediately because of the wall clink. But I I was able to adjust. You see, I moved back to damage tank. And it moved me back on cycle, which is very good. Here I fucked up a little bit too, so I went for the inventory cancel of the knockback. So at the end of the day I got the cycle, which is good. Will I get the fast cycle on the vessel fragment? Hey Lake, what's up? Yeah. Do I get the fast vessel fragment chat? This is the biggest history of the Hollow Knight speed running. Oh my god. <laughs> this is your answer. Let's write it down to the practice list <laughs> um it's not worth in uh, current patch because dash master gives you damage less uh, s damage less like lobby movement here I fucked up too because I dashed into the wall so I couldn't open the inventory here and I couldn't open it here so I had to just wait here and oh my god another, another bonk so this is like oh and I missed the crystal dash this is such a disaster <laughs> I completely botched this movement Yikes. Yes, Hyperin, I'm rewatching my run. That I got offline. Bonk. Instant bonk. All this damage tank let me free hits of soul. What am I doing? Like, oh, Jesus Christ. I just practiced that. <laughs> but yeah, my, my brain, like, starts to give up here, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that uh, people are like doing the Simo, Mimi Simo, trying to break, trying to cause like an electricity outage or something like that. <laughs> uh meme too much yeah i need to stop at some point okay let's look at the hive as you know hive is like the most fun uh, area in the hollow night well i guess it's nice in current patch because it doesn't lag so you can just zoom through i go for the d dark here because it just like kills all the bees on the way and it's still kind of fast And I go like for this down movement with like Cyclone on this guy. I didn't need this soul, just technically, but I got it for safety and got bonked a little bit. So far it's a decent hive, like you can't complain. That was nice dodge. And I've seen, look at that bee, like sneaky motherfucker was hiding be behind the foreground object. But I, I, I got him. I got him. I just barely got that crystal dash. Holy fuck. This hive is very clean so far. Like, I can't complain that. 
and Cyclone drop on top of this guy. <laughs> Good. I aggro Big B from so far away intentionally because if he insta charges, he can go like sideways. And yeah, that was that was that was incredibly good. Nowadays, I'm just go in big B range and dash away immediately. I don't go all the way towards him. And yeah, I kill the big B here because fuck him. And another big B got his revenge. <laughs> yeah, Gusten Hive Pillar Struts, let's fucking go. Yeah, I got karma. And I practice Hive Knight, yeah. Well, spoiler alert, fight here won't show the practice at all. <laughs> yeah, I turned around here too too early. That was the first mistake. This is the second mistake. And then I kind of like, you know, a little bit, got a little bit woozy. So you, you, you can see me, not really panicking, but getting confused. Like, what was that shriek? I knew it won't gonna, it, it's not gonna work, but I still went for it. That was a good shriek. Turned around to the left and shriek. So at the end, I recovered. Like, I did a mistake, it spiraled a little bit out of control, but at the end of the fight, I recovered, which was, which was very nice. And a huge time save, well, relatively speaking, because, you know, still 7 seconds time loss to golds, but now we... 2 minutes and 24 seconds ahead. I think I will lose like 6 seconds or so on shop optimization in terms of like a reroute, time save, time loss. But that's it. Now it's like a real pace, it's like a real deal. Shout out to Doveless for this. Well, for the beginning of this climb strat, I, I kind of fucked up the ending. Yeah, Aaron, that's a very nice mask shard. That's like... Mwah. Shout outs to Monster. I think he pioneered uh, the mask shard routing for one for one XX. He talks about it in his uh, vanilla 100% uh, speedrun world record. That he started doing that. Which was like three years ago or something. <laughs> Stupid like that. <laughs> something like old. Another history lessons for you. This movement is alright. It's not, you know, insane, but it's it's alright. It's alright. That's how I will describe this uh, hive in general. The climb is okay too. This was a mistake. I did one wall jump less, but I kind of recovered as well. And yeah, this is this is cool. Yeah, yeah, Gustav true. <laughs> yeah, I here I released uh, my dream gate to scratch my nose, but I didn't like put it actually. So yeah, I got confused. That was like a gold pace before that. Oh, and I got sniped. Yo. Barely have any soul because of that. Yeah, I have to go for soul collection. I go very careful on Markov here, yeah. Don't go don't want to waste any soul because collector fight. But it was it was a good Markov. I only lost time to um uh, like movement mistakes. Here I try to do some cool movement, but I kind of, you know... Uh, yep. <laughs> it kind of worked out, you know. Like, we take those. Gasso! <laughs> Still over two minutes ahead, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hell is 
Australia. And collector, yeah, I like, I'm running, like, I think my PB was a gold collector, so this is getting really tight. And you see, like, quick slash was good in my PB too. But luckily I practiced this section of the game recently, so I felt pretty good about it generally. Here I'm getting some incidental G. I I decided to kill hoppers because I got hit here and yeah, like, oh, and get hit here so I can screw you guys. I'm using you as a geo route. <laughs> And the rest of it was pretty clean, I think. Yeah, nice pogo and this strat too. <laughs> Thanks, Fabio. Okay, that, that's fine. And yeah, now I'm running against my collector gold. The climb. I like loved it out uh, on stream recently, but still went for like the other strat. But I mean, relatively fast. Cyclone at the very end. Let's see how good of a collector I get. A <laughs> good dream nail. You, you can easily screw up this dream nail. You need to pay attention to the Venge Fly flying pattern. Three shrieks, shade soul. And then you jump before the third one. And he's basically dead. Yeah, he's dead. I decided to go like for Dream Nail here, even though I could have uh, saved the little Balder and Dream Nail him. But at this point, it's like whatever. I know that this will be a gold. This is like a second slower than Monster's Gold, by the way, so this is very decent collector. My Cyclone and the Pogo. Yes, pretty good collector. <laughs> nice essence from the Bellfly. Yeah, rough draught. I did. We're watching it right now, by the way. So you can join. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> and this is... I hate when it happens. Like... If you if you press your shrieks a bit too slow, you will get hit like that. And yeah, I got like bamboozled and started doing stupid mistakes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, yeah. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah, good luck with the shower, Gustin. This is a very nice one. You just kill this guard with two shrieks and don't have to fight him. Actually blessed. Here I decide to like shade cloak through. Pretty consistent. I decided not to heal here. Because, I mean, the worst thing... I will get hit with 2 HP and I have 3, so I figured I am safe here, which I actually was, see. Nice. Another elevator trick. <laughs> Shoutouts to 1.5. And a cyclone drop. I like this one. I decided to get extra soul here to heal. Uh, have fun, Hex, and thanks for hanging around. Bye bye. Yeah, this is on 1.5, on the latest one. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, he decided to roll, so I decided on a back roll. Oof. But th that was actually a good back roll because they stuck together and I basically killed them both at the same time. Like, for 112, back rolls are not bad. Like, they're actually pretty good for 112. 
because it's like a very short attack and it ends quickly. Okay, this is that. I will go take a bathroom break, enjoy nail 3, nothing happens on the split. Be right back. Oh damn, I'm even earlier than nail 3 <laughs> Hi chat <laughs> Top 2 chair, yeah <clears throat> But yeah, I saved time on Lurian, like my PB Lurian was unlucky <laughs> Oh yeah, and the Geo route. Geo route is extremely fucking tight. As you might know, we skipped Soul Sanctum chest, which gives 380 Geo, and we have to compensate somehow for it. We will, for the most part, we compensate for it with extra Geo that 1.5 drops, like Traders and Queen's Garden drop Geo, and like on 1.4, so we take those, and we also get. Well, you kind of have to greet Geo throughout the run. To compensate for the rest, you need to compensate like a hundred or so. Um, a lot of that you already get, like from one Baldur and from a great sentry that you kill and all that, but you need to pay attention. <clears throat> and at the end of this run, I realized that I'm like, you know, don't remember the actual number, and I start to greet too much Geo. <clears throat> so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's quite harder to pull off on 1.4 indeed. Still possible though. Let's watch a uh, white defender fight. So far, so good. Nice shriek. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> nice one, two. Look at that, I'm playing well. <clears throat> this is like a mistake, I was hesitating. And here I am getting bonked into this fucking... Ah, I got bonked by the poo and missed scream skip because of that. That was like so sad. <laughs> that probably would have been a gold. That was a very good fight. My gold had a scream skip and I only lost 3 seconds to it. So yeah, this poo costed me a gold. <laughs> This is like not the movement you should do here. 
I kind of screwed it up a little bit. Here I pressed the dash too early, but this is all right. <clears throat> yeah, we have a comfortable geo to buy the colos. This is like some weird movement too. Yeah, yeah. At, at this point, I, I I really want to go to bathroom. Like I, I definitely remember that. I kind of start. I'm kind of starting, you know, losing it. <laughs> This PB is really like P PB bathroom break edition, if you think about it. <laughs> hey Blue, we are at Colos. <clears throat> Climb is pretty nice though. <clears throat> hey Marty TV. Low. Yeah, yeah. Nice soul collection. Yeah, here I like figured do I need some geo? Do I don't need some geo? I just forgot all the numbers. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, we'll see how calls go. <laughs> Call one is pretty fun, very consistent, not much RNG. You start with a D dark, then you kill these guys with two quick shade souls, and then you do like a dream nail. Very nice. You have a lot of soul now. Here's just you just try to dispatch waves as fast as you can. We'll see, blue, we'll see. <laughs> So far, pretty clean call one. Nice jumps to beat. <laughs> I go for Dream Nail here and I miss it. Oh my. <laughs> now I'm at soul deficit. Well, it's fine. It's quite lenient on this call. Yeah, I generally go for Dream Nails here. Well, not here, like here. Here I wait a little bit for the second spawn and kill both at the same time. And then the quick nail art. Yep. That was pretty good execution. <clears throat> that was That was quite good. <clears throat> Grass mothers dead. <gasps> yeah, blue. <clears throat> How did the chat move? <clears throat> Look at the cool strat chat. You can jump on the wall and collect all the geo here because it spawns here. Look at that. Like I still miss 10 of them, but <laughs> that's like so fun. And that was a gold, pretty cool.
<clears throat> and this is, yeah, we're going to top two situation. This is like already top two pace, kind of. Will I choke Cola 2? This is a good question. Let's find out. So far, so good. This, this was as clean as it gets. Nice nail cancel. Another nail can I'll cancel. <clears throat> so far it's like very clean call of two. No mistakes at all. My like dream nail strat into like shriek and then shade soul to kill two of them, another shade. And here I found one to guess, but he died anyway out of the explosion. That's like that's like alright. It's like cool. This is very good. And this is the first mistake. I didn't kill him fast enough. <clears throat> but this is alright, only one hit. A little time loss, but... Okay, you get pretty much infinite soul on these hoppers. Here, like on great hoppers, I burn moral soul, but I kill them faster because I meet the spawn with a shriek. You can do instant nail cancel, but I decided to hit, to do one additional nails. Got the fast spawn. By the way, uh, the, the timing of his of mimic spawn is RNG, which is pretty cursed. Nothing interesting here. Just oh yeah, I didn't charge my nail art, so a little bit of a time loss here. That was pretty nice. Doing small mistakes here, but nothing major so far. <clears throat> Run against my color to gold, by the way, so I need to get like really good to match it. Because the end... That was pretty stupid. Like, yeah, oh, I shouldn't have gone for the nail hit. It's like three seconds. But, I mean... I have soul, I don't I haven't lost any HP. We're good. I like to start with Cyclone here. That was bad because he didn't die and I basically wasted my soul. But I got two of them with the shade soul, which is pretty nice. Getting this face hitless is incredibly important. I like this dream dream nail. Yeah, that, that was very good. And here my music you Good RNG on the blobbles. <laughs> nice, very good call too. <clears throat> I fucked up a little bit in the mid in, in the middle. So look at this geo collection chat, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> like you're jumping up there and, and it just collect all the geo that gets spawned. <laughs> I didn't mash, I forgot to mash here, just lost like a second. And yeah, I got a gold on call too, as well. Could have been even better. <laughs> this is already like <laughs> ahead of blue. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's look at call 3. Running against my gold. Will it go well? So far, so good. Pretty clean. This is like... Oh, I shouldn't have gone for nail cancel here. Should have just fireballed. But I had enough soul and enough HP, so whatever. Small mishap, nothing serious. <clears throat> yeah, but here I'm extremely losing it, like... My bladder fucking explodes. Like, only th the only thing I think about during these calls is like how I want like, to go to bathroom. This is everything that bothering me. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
Frogs, yeah, frogs kind of... Frogs were bad. Look at, look at them go. It's like... Oh. I mean, not bad. I kind of uh, rushed my Shriek here. But you have to understand. <laughs> nice dash slash into double and into shade soul that was that was amazing it was beautiful oh and this is like the first kind of stupid mistake we got hit here <laughs> decided to go for five hits to heal And this, yeah, I did my jump a bit late. Ah, oh, that was like bad. I have to fight them in the middle. This is like the worst situation. And I missed my nail cancel because of the freeze frame. Oh my god, another hit. This is like, yeah. That's the first major mistake of this caller. And I said first, I wonder, that was good. They line up for the dash slash. <clears throat> Don't dash here. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was bad. That was like a bad patcher face. And all started with me is just slightly mistiming my jump. And here I was out of soul. And being out of soul here is so bad because you have to go for extra nail hits. And here you wait 10 seconds for him to spawn. This is like complete RNG. This is a partially why current patch colors are slower than 1 to 2 1. Because on Sanctum phase, enemies can take like forever to spawn for some reason. Jack, like, that was bad. Like, he got pushed away by Shriek, but it was my mistake because I did uh, left side Shriek, which you shouldn't really do. It's like another one. Here you meet him with the Shriek and do another Shriek. This looks like a lot of DPS. <laughs> Failed to turn around. That was a nice one. But yeah, yeah, I I'm really losing it. Like, I'm starting to lose it, but at least I'm not dying. <laughs> Let's look at aerial phase. Nice dash slash. Essence. Nail cancel. Into another nail cancel and nail cancel. That was decent. I don't have soul here yet. I tried to fireball, but I didn't have any soul. And I decided to just burn it. That was like decent. <laughs> Hmm, interesting serpent, maybe. Okay, full HP, almost full soul. What can go wrong, really? <clears throat> that was a good one. Cheeky turnaround, nail hit. Decided to go for the D-Dark. Oh, the Pogo with the lag. Yeah, I remember it lagged a little bit here. And I got scared. That was, like, perfect. That was amazing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't kill him, so I got hit here. And he spawned on top and... Oh my god, I got hit another time. And he spawned to... I fat fingered the pause here, I fat fingered the pause. And now I'm like losing it, I'm like panicking. Oh, what's gonna happen here, chat? I... Oh, what, what am I... Oh my god, what am I doing here? <laughs> Don't upslash him, you fucking idiot! You should never upslash them, like never ever. Oh. <laughs> Look at this! I'm so scared. <laughs> that was such a choke. This is just like that was just a snap. Like it was perfect, and then the <laughs> Look at this fucking god tamer. Why do you do that? Like, oh, wow. I just almost, I just, I just, I should have died there. <laughs> uh, this is a way to lose 30 seconds for sure. 
And of course, Swag Geo collection. Look at this wall jumps, chat. The Geo spawns right there. So you just collect almost everything. <laughs> I lost I lost 30 what 31 seconds in call 3 oh. Ah you can see it but yeah I had like wall jump there to collect the geo <clears throat> I just lost 30 30 seconds I'm not on top 2 pace anymore you hate to see it <laughs> And I don't have soul here. Yeah, now I have to do... And I don't have soul for Baldur's. And again, second trigger up. I'm like, I'm in shambles here. Like, I'm I'm like, not not in the run. Uh, hey, uh, bye Allison. Thanks for the GG's. Uh, thanks for hanging around. Like, I need the time to recover. For sure, here. I'm literally shaking like look at this movement. Oh, I'm, I'm just I, ju I don't know what I'm doing here And I don't have soul. I forgot that I have dream wielder So I dream nail him twice for no reason and getting hit like oh, this is such a disaster. Oh Hey maester <laughs> Welcome to the stream <clears throat> But yeah, I think I actually found time to recover like about here, yeah. Yeah, about here I'm like, don't worry, I'm still on a good pace, like PB pace by two minutes, whatever. Like, we got through the colors. It's fine. Like, y you know that on a run like that, especially at my levels of consistency, major mistakes will happen. <laughs> Thanks for the congrats, mister. <clears throat> so yeah, another like, well, six seconds, right? Seven. So you can add it to the color 3 time loss. So effectively I lost 40 seconds to color 3. 32 seconds of pure time loss and 7 seconds to like, you know, recover, mentally recover. <clears throat> I think at this point I actually fully recovered already. I like actually got chilled. <clears throat> Yeah, free time safe indeed. Moment here was alright. Yeah. Haven't done any bullshit like. Free time save for next run, exactly. Well, as free as Call of 1 goes. But yeah, like, losing 30 seconds on Call of 3 is not something you should do. Nice gold. Yeah, yeah, I kinda recovered. It's a come up, by the way. <laughs> that was... So much drama in Call of 3, holy shit. I, I still don't know how, how I survived. Yeah, this is like shopping split. This is where you like relax and take a bathroom break. As I said already, I wanted to go to bathroom since fucking Soul Master. And all this time it was building up. I'm pretty sure it affected my performance in late game. <clears throat> Will he get inventory drop? Of course not. Versus average perfect speedrunner, yeah. This is a nice visual cue for two gym nails. See? One, two. Like when she says ne kui te and like on te you should do your first dream nail. Shoutouts to Emery by the way. Like she taught me this uh, audio cue. <clears throat> Works like a charm. <clears throat> Actually, Emre like uh, had uh, a, a lot of like neat visual and audio cues for this run. It was like 
small things, but very good quality of life, like this. Well, I guess this one is actually big. Like two gym nails, because it gives you such a big DPS. But yeah. Not even a gold. <laughs> because no inventory, like, not getting inventory drop loses a lot of time here. And yeah, this is why you need to watch runs, chat. <clears throat> watch other runs, because all runner, like, every runner has some, some unique thing to them. Like, of course, I was watching Emre back then because uh, she was, like, a top runner in the category. And, uh, but still, like, uh, like, she had a lot of cool strats, like, Zev had a lot of cool strats, of course, Monster had strats. And, yeah, Blood of Explosion. And Scurry, like, had a lot of cool strats when uh, uh, they do, did runs of 112. You need to watch runs. And um, also, a lot of cool strats came from runners, not at the top. Like, I, I just kind of enumerated top runners in the category at the time. But just by verifying runs from the middle of the leaderboard, I've learned a ton. There was some, like, cool backups and cool save strats that I sometimes incorporate. Yeah, and at this point, I rush into the bathroom. <coughs> I fucking sprint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here I came back. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, hey Leaping Lion and Sentry Wolf. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, physical relief. It's great. And it's actually double-edged sword. <clears throat> because, you know, you, you like, you feel relaxed. And it can play an evil joke to you. Because... The next split is uh, Flower Quest, and having such a big break after stressful splits for Flower can like can fuck you up, because your body and your mind kind of relaxes, and you can lose the concentration, and it's very important to kind of hold you together for the Flower Quest. It's it's really dangerous, especially in. Uh, in 112, because in 112, flower goes after Colos. And in 106, flower goes below, before Colos. So your concentration kind of builds up towards Colos, I guess. And it's, you know, like a... It's like purely a mentality thing, you know? Like how you handle it. Um, <clears throat> here we'll be losing like uh, 7 seconds, I think, to That's Vessel right, Fragment you know? reroute, but it still saves time, like, overall. Yeah, like, I see it, but I, I can't, I can't hold it for so long. <laughs> there wasn't a single run where I, um... Where I, like, uh... Didn't go to bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, if you have a big house or if your bathroom like downstairs, this is like hell. <laughs> From the all skills comes up for 112. Yeah, I mean, my shade cloak strats are mostly from all skills. Yeah. Uh, what else? Like, uh, movement up to Hornet 2 is a lot of all skills too. Wraiths, yeah, it's just all skills arena. Yeah, a lot of kind of movement overlaps for sure. Yeah, like, having upstairs is such a, like, first world problem. <laughs> it gets very easier when you live in a small flat. <laughs> you don't have to run. <laughs> yeah, I think my movement up to rates is pretty decent. I do, like, a neat pre-jump, you know, all, the, all that stuff. 
Oh, a second try to drop. And here we go, the flower quest. Will I throw it? Look at that. I also I just dropped um, <clears throat> below uh, top two even top three even. Yeah, my old PB is three twenty. Like the one you see on the screen is what I ran against. Three hours twenty minutes and seven seconds. Why did I crystal dash here? Like it was brain fart. <laughs> Optimal, by the way. But yeah, this is not even top three pace anymore. Like, oh, I, I lost everything in Call of Three, basically. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, Mizzet. Uh Losing the flower loses you a minute. If, if, you, if you lose it... Uh, I guess yeah at any point if you don't if you lose it in in like a go section it, it loses you a minute <laughs> I have a uh, like a, almost 30 seconds to save in white palace against like this run I'm running against now because on my PB I went to like pure nail and then I forgot that it's not the route. Here, I don't know why I stopped there, see dash. For some reason I wanted to check Slice Hat really fast. You can see that my brain slowly leaves me. <laughs> Couldn't kill the Jennifer, nice one. Yeah. It was also quite late already, so understandable. I finished the run like in 4, 4 a.m. Now I do the double jump here always. In case uh, the bench fly is too high. A bit sloppy, but I decided to go a bit slate. Because I, I felt that I, I, I'm not like in the focus right now. So I decided to go a bit slower. <clears throat> this is like current patch exclusive movement. You can't clink on that wall on one to two one. This wall on one to two one is a slope, <laughs> for whatever reason. A special movement to avoid current patch RNG because this bench fly can hit you. At least on one point four it can. I don't know if it can still hit you on one point five. Some trinomy drop, trinomy drop into the D dark. This d -dark is like the safest thing you can do. Yeah, makes up for the false false champion wall, I guess. Oh, thanks god I didn't dash here. Because my up slash didn't kill the jelly on the left. That would have been a disaster if I dashed. I mean, th there are definitely faster one uh, flower cycles, but I don't go for like couple, couple like sketchy strats on flower for sure. On a run like four hours long, you just can't afford to frame greed. Like you will never PB. <laughs> well, un un unless you're Scrafio, of course. <laughs> Very consistent movement here. <clears throat> Just like a couple time dashes and that's it. <laughs> Ready to cycle. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, nice flower. Very like consistent. It was like one kind of sketchy moment and yeah. I think that was a gold actually, but it's understandable. My uh, sum of best is not very optimized on these splits, so yeah, my sum of best is very unoptimized. Still has like a way to go. 
But yeah, currently it's not even top 2 pace, top 3 pace anymore. I actually figured out new strat for this section. You don't bench and equip fragile heart. You move your dream gate to the left while you're waiting for the stag. This is better than benching there, benching here. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. <clears throat> Fucker just fucking dashed away. <laughs> and yeah, I am so much out of practice for White Palace. I, w I was just dismissing White Palace practice ever since I came back from True Ending. And you can see I have like 20 seconds of a time save here. So we'll see how much of that I will get. First King's mode was kind of meh. This is like okay, I went for nail cancel because I've seen that my DDR kind of missed. This is like just some nice cyclone. And I knew I was too low, but I don't know why I crystal dashed. Sometimes, you know, you're like in a situation that you know it wouldn't work, but you still go for it. it it's just... I was just tired already. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> nice wall jump. This is just kind of situation when I was like, hold it! Like, fucking hold it together, bro! Don't fall apart. <laughs> you know, one of those. When you try to, like... Like, you're at the end. First, well, I wasn't, like, nervous here. I just really... There are some points in run where you kind of start feeling loose of concentration. Yeah, 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 spirit. Like, you know, like, your brain knows it's not gonna work. But for some reason you still have this religious kind of hope that it, somehow it will. <laughs> also, I could have made that cycle, but I was just kind of not confident. It would have worked if I went for it. But other than that, it's pretty decent left archery. <laughs> Where's the cycle on there, you motherfucker? This is like the easiest room in the room. You just kind of follow the soul blade and then couple time dashes. Easy. Who would ever choke? Fuck you. <laughs> like this is like 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh no, not again. I had 20 seconds to save here. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> Top 2 run, by the way. This like, like, please work. Oh my fucking god, this is... Uh, I, I was like, yeah, this was like... Uh, focus, focus, like, please don't die. Like, <laughs> Should have sighted. <laughs> like this, <laughs> yeah, nice uh, look downs and up. Here I went for an extra soul collection. I don't know why. Have no idea why. Yeah, th like this white palace was. I just incorporated every bit of willpower I had. I missed the cycle here and oh uh, this is just dirty you know. <clears throat> At least I didn't fuck up this part. I think so. Yeah this is just like normal. I didn't go for fast dash master cycles in this room. I decided to just wait. But I mean <laughs> I know I wasn't gonna make it just like mentally. <laughs> nice essence, by the way. Also, my essence here was extremely clutched. I haven't uh, mentioned that. But I collected a, a, a little, like, 
a couple few essence from the dream tree that I wished I did. So it was a bit of monkey ass and failed the wall jump at the end. Uh, look at like time getting away. Look at that. <laughs> and this room takes like 15 seconds or something. <clears throat> yeah. Two dunks costed me like, what, 18 seconds? Oh, 20. Um, lost 20 seconds in white balls. Holy shit. Two dunks and um, just overall kind of sloppy execution at, at times. <laughs> yeah. But at least, hey, this is top three pace right now. <clears throat> yeah, save time because I forgot the route in my PB. <laughs> I go for the Vessel Fragment first uh, because I don't want to accidentally lose a life blood to some, you know, mishop or um, like accidental dunk because on the current patch we, we get uh, less HP for life blood than on uh, 1.2 <clears throat> So you just literally can't can't afford to lose any any HP. For, for example, we have an 18 life blood course now, life life blood masks now. We need to damage tank once, which will leave at us 16, and the door opens at 15, and we are overcharmed. I shouldn't have dashed there. I didn't know that Gustav actually never died. Here I just go for safety, you see? I'm losing time to freeze frames, but at least I'm not in danger. Yo, Scorp. Will I get a clean life blood? Oh, the wall jump, nasty. You. Uh, premature dash. <clears throat> I don't know about it, Fabio. Yeah, that was that was like a disaster. Late game has so much time saved, like post uh, post uh, calls. <clears throat> hey Zo, that was okay. You need to go like to Gigi and spawn your shade with the rancid egg. <laughs> Hollow Knight speedrunner, by the way. Yeah, yeah, like, there is a door below the Crystal Peaks elevator that you can open with a simple key. And there's like an NPC that can spawn your shade. I don't know what I, I don't know, like, for some reason, my brain just shut down here. And I went for the left side climb that I don't know. Look at oh, and and I realized what I done, and I okay, we just need to roll with it now. I don't fucking know the road. I just do. <laughs> I think I watched 106 run or something. Maybe it's because I verified Scrafy's run recently. Maybe it's because I watched Sorpin. But something something like short circuited my brain here. I don't know what. Lost time, of course. <laughs> but yeah, my pace now is not top two at all. So I need to ascend in call in pantheons. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I see eyes. I didn't know that. And I killed them because they panicked. I didn't know how much geo I need. In hindsight, I didn't need to kill them, but otherwise I didn't need to kill them, but I would have had like 11 geo over, which is extremely sketchy. Like extremely Velmi fucking sketchy. <laughs> but to be honest, I missed some geo in Colos. I missed some like enemy geo that was on the way and I got some accidental draw. So you know, like this geo route just barely works, but I don't think it's actually like RTA viable. So yeah, I figured that in my next runs I will use a Defender's Crest uh, discount. It's kind of quick. You equip it at Dirt Mouth together with Dash Master and then you unequip it at Leg Eater. Loses like 3 seconds together. But you don't care about your Geo, like, it, gets, it gets very good. You don't need to Geo, because I'm sure that even though it's not noticeable in the split, you actually lose time. Uh, probably probably lose time to collecting like geo on the way you know you stop for a second here you stop like for half a second here you also use your concentration to think about geo so I think defender's crest will worth it yeah Gustav actually I'm pretty sure it's worth it and have you have you heard what I said about the dream gate which will make it even faster by the way while you're waiting for the stag to White Palace, you can just move your Dream Gate. You don't have to equip like Fragile Heart there. It doesn't lose any time to equip it at uh, Basin Bench. Here I got hit, yeah, unfortunately. I, like I got a bit... Yeah, yeah, this is like... This is dirty as well. A regular uh, flip marm kill, nothing special. <laughs> yes, insert space. This is top two run. I forgot to crystal dash here. I actually forgot to crystal dash here. Unironically. Because yeah, my late game is extremely out of practice. I just need to kind of practice this late game segments. Just to, you know, feel confident there. Yeah, I should actually kind of write it down. Uh, so I needed to practice call 3. And web onwards. Yep. Nice uh, heartfall, by the way. But I mean, still, sub 230 uh, entering God Home is alright. So, for, for, for reference, Monster enters God Home at 228. And I'm just two minutes uh, behind. But I lost 40 seconds in Colo. I lost like 40 seconds to fail champion and lost skin. So I mean my overworld is getting there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I, I mean there's also like almost 30 seconds of reroutes. Oops. Sorry for the bonk. But still, <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, minus 152, entering like Pantheon 1. Let's see what Colos, what Pantheons will have. Uh, d d I kinda got it, but she ran away. I, I like didn't, I got lucky here. And I didn't fuck up the backup, so... Yeah, I consider this is this to be an okay 
when she fly. And here I just went like DPS. <laughs> uh, let's look at that. Uh, is she the default? No, Garnix. Uh, the pronoun in Russia def depends on the grammar, on how the word ends. Getting iframes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my overworld wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, blue. Nice slashes to the music. Yeah, I practice a decent bit of overworld. I'm, I'm like, I'm definitely like there mechanically, but my consistency desires to be better, and also I do many like sloppy mistakes. So my overworld needs polish. This is like the best way to describe it. That was a decent uh, like opening gauntlet. I missed a shade so to teleport. I was unlucky. Another one. This is my mistake. I shouldn't went for the second one. He basically teleports right as he goes out of bounds. Routine? Uh, I mean, I, I have uh, segments in, in mind that I need to practice. I know that went well, went uh, bad in previous kind of run, and I practiced that. And I don't practice mindlessly, I actually try to do the correct strat. Even if it, even if it goes against my current one. Yeah, save sta states and timer mode, basically that's it. That was good, he just stayed in the bully corner. Uh, that could have been better, I missed like a spell. Like, a bit of a meltdown at the end, but decent. <clears throat> Same goes for Pantheon bosses. You just kind of slave uh, on each one of them, just like counting hits and DPS that you lose to, for example, Black Moon or to Monster. <laughs> to like top IL runners. Or you try to look for DPS opportunity yourself, because, you know, just copying the strats is not enough anymore, you need to improve upon. I fucked up this shade, oh, and I got turned around, yeah, that was, that was a bit bad, a little bit bad. <clears throat> that was alright. And this is just like damage tank mode, but you try not to get too much hit, so your shriek don't... I said not try to get too much damage to get proper shriek DPS, and I just... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I barely saved any time, yeah, 7 seconds overall. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it depends, like, I prefer practicing individual rooms, like, that I have problems with. I know that, um... Mm, I don't normally use Kamso percentage 2 spirit, especially on, like, 112, where we don't even know proper Kamso. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, comes up percentage is good when you're just getting started, for sure. Like, when you're new to the category or to the game. When you're already, like, you know, kind of getting good, you, you need to do your own thing. This is just, like, a normal few, normal, like, zero, zero vent pretty well. 
which is good because I've actually practiced him a decent bit. Another uh, pause fat finger. I actually rebound my pause button because of that. I fat finger in too much. I still go for triple hits here. I need to learn like a grounded, like corner uh, strats. And I'm missing a lot too. Blobbles. That was a very good opening. And one of them was dead already. I kind of got hit here. That was alright. Missed one hit here, like... Same here, like, didn't turn around properly, didn't get a double, so, yeah, charge nail art shouldn't have done it. So, th th this fight is quite a bit sloppy. Didn't get a double again. That was, like, good. But it's bad because you don't know who of them you damaged. So, th the last boss has, like, a fuck ton of, fuck ton of uh, HP now. And this dunk was intentional. I dunked for the extra soul. I know, like, that was just bad. I should have either take the hot spring or skip the bench altogether. I just... <laughs> just unnecessary time loss, basically. But still, even with that sloppy execution, I'm saving time over my pantheons, which is very good. Jumped too late. <clears throat> and yet, yeah, unnecessary damage, another one. Oh no, I didn't get hit here. I'm surprised. Timed my pogo well. <clears throat> oh, same one goes to the same wall. I didn't know that, certain. Missed a nail hit. And missed two nail hits here in this fight. And two nail hits at 60. 60 damage, it's a lot. It's actually a lot for this fight. I practice no skin pantheons, by the way. Like, he jumps, this is like... That was a decent double. I waited here so I don't stagger. To get the free nail hits. <laughs> Thanks, Zeevil. I I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, here we go. Top 3 pace again. <laughs> Barely clutching it. You start with a double here. Oh, and I missed nail hit, and then I got hit. That's like... Ugh. I thought he will jump backwards. That was a good one. Missed the double, deduct for... I don't know. This is just... This is bad. That was very bad, Shio. Like, I actually choked it quite quite a bit. Like, you see, I I'm still saving a little bit of time. Because just my general Pantheon execution and uh, confidence increased. Like, I'm doing sloppy mistakes, I'm losing a lot of DPS, but it's, you know, improving. Practice really pays off here and, and shows. I know what mistakes I'm making, I know what hits I'm missing. And th this is the most important stuff, you know where you're exactly losing time and what you should do. And as, as soon as you know that, all you need to do to improve is time and practice. Yeah, here I get, got, I didn't get close enough, and here like he, his hitbox uh, increases a little bit when he starts uh, blowing away the bees, and I lost a lot of time here. <clears throat> Not time, I lost a lot of HP here. Uh, we don't have steady body here, Garnix, 
so it doesn't make sense to keep him here. Up slashes are better because they stay closer. Oh, I dodged. Elder was kind of blessed. He teleported quite a bit, but didn't do the pancake, so I was able to chase him around. Got the scream skip very nice. It's quite tight in pantheons. You need to get a uh, soul. Uh, here I get lucky that he didn't jump right away, but you need to get six snail hits per his appearance from the ceiling, and it's very tight. For the longest time, I was able to do only five, and it's 30 less damage per appearance. It's a lot. Here I'm going on the right for like the proper DPS, and so here his rolls are short. I want most of my DPS here to be with the nail, not with the soul. That's why I need short rolls. I need a lot of soul for uh, Grim King. For Grim so you see? Yeah. <clears throat> That's basically the strat. You want to minimize his rolls because you don't want to burn all your all your soul. And here, like, ah, I did my Dream Nail too, too early. And I missed the nail hit. Yikes. It's like a time loss. I missed a nail hit here and couple there. That was like a bit sloppy. Couldn't get damage here. Oh, and I missed a, a, a shriek hit. And I like, oh my god, yeah, that was bad. I missed a lot of DPS and then missed like a shriek. So this is like 10 seconds of a time loss, I think, or 11. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm so angry. <laughs> so angry. That was like bad. I basically undid all my progress. With that one mistake. Well, two mistakes technically. I'm dashing like chaotically here. And he goes up. Like, it sucks so much when he goes up. Because you don't want to burn too much soul. You want to kind of preserve it a little bit. Because, you know, Zolt and then Umu. And then Hornet, like, so cursed. Pantheon 3 is very hard. It's very hard in soul management. And HP management. Here I kinda just sh should've gone for DPS. Even, uh, even for the, like, damage tank. But I'm getting a good DPS here. Well, this dash was bad, though. Oh, that was that was very good. Paul going to shade cloak. <laughs> that was that was all right. Like his patterns were, his patterns were bad, but I played it kind of well. Did a couple mistakes, but overall decent. Let's see what Umu does to us. I prefer to go down like right away, and I got a bit you know a bit sketchy. I decided to just like do that. Please. Okay, okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I actually went for this damage tank. Just in case it like explodes into the platform or anything. And I mean full HP basically for Hornet is fine. <clears throat> I should have done neutral dash here and I missed the pogo. And that was bad as well. And I pulled her into me and uh, sloppy, very sloppy Hornet too. That was slow and I lost quite a bit of HP. Uh, but I'm still on a decent pace because... I mean, I just generally improved at Pantheons. I practiced these bosses a lot and... They just naturally went better. Look at that Shade Clock. Hoba! <laughs> Missed couple nail hits. Here I'm fine going for damage times because I have that mu so much HP. Here I'm missing two nail hits, I, need, I needed to jump and continued side slashes. So yeah, I decided to heal once. Twice? That was a mistake, I shouldn't have healed twice. Only once. Nice shriek, and basically two shrieks. And he's like dead, yeah. Yeah, parries are annoying for real. <clears throat> Especially when you can't take the damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice gold. <clears throat> Back on top three pace. 
Best possible time is still 316, by the way. Dashed into the wrong direction because, like, for, for some reason, Dash got, got control earlier than the direction that they held. Was okay, like all right. <clears throat> yeah, sure. One second in one twelve. Oh, that was that was badly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. You look at these teleports. Holy shit! And it, it starts getting to me. Like, look at that. Bad. And, and she teleports like out of every every damn hit she teleports like it's, it's what like 30% chance that she teleports <clears throat> and I missed the fucking shade skip oh scream skip <laughs> yeah that was like fucking bad You underestimate how bad my pantheons are in PB, are you? <laughs> nice scream skip here. I go for three shrieks here. Oh, didn't get a hit. Why did I jump here? Like, I know that he's like about to scream. Ah, oh, you motherfucker! I was afraid to be hit by the pool, so I got so I tried to do it a bit to the left. Still getting a good DPS though, even though I didn't get a scream skip, that was a decent fight. <clears throat> For grab song. Here I intentionally take soul because like failed champion is a weird boss. If he goes into the corner, you need to do like the dark eye frames, but he didn't. So I can save this time on the second phase when I just do two shrieks. Here I went for one though. I think I will he here I will do for two. Go for two. My psi frames. Yeah. Also because you know like Markoth. Markoth is really annoying. He has a lot of HP and he likes to fly away. So you see I'm like spacing my shrieks. I don't like just burn all of them. And I do like right side shrieks, unless he's so much close. Um, yes, Spirit, I know, but it's kind of his hitbox is whack. Like w when you kill him uh, with the great slash, you don't need to like come closer to Dream Nail. Because his head becomes undream nailable. Only his armor. He got hit. These are pretty nice uh, Watcher Knights. Ah, this, this parry is not nice though. How's the good Watcher Knights? Yeah, he also has like a bunch of um, iframes, so you need to hit like... You need to make sure like he's the dark inside of him. 
you know the dark uh, great slash that's a nice pattern to open with a nice two like hits I missed the shade soul but I guess I got the second one that's actually a pretty nice pattern and I think yeah the stagger into shriek just blessed that was good that was very good yes purity <laughs> I mean it it looks cool casually like the freeze frame and clink looks cool. It, it like looks rewarding that you got it. But uh, yeah, speed drawing wise, it's slow. <clears throat> okay, my greatest enemy, um, pure vessel. <laughs> Been choking him recently. Nice uh, parry. I'm going for a lot of shrieks here. All I can do, like, all shrieks I can do, I, I go for basically. That was a uh, bad Didark, I shouldn't have done it. Should have dashed here, but I mean, it's, it's easy to say after it's done. That's nice. Uh, that doesn't I mean that's fine. He, uh, like, he's like basically dead at this point. I know that. Like literally any attack would heal him, yeah. Look at the time save though. <laughs> 14 seconds on the gold. Best possible time is 3.16.22. And I have no more fake gold, so it, this is like real BPT. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh. That was very good uh, Pantheon, for, apart from No Ice. No Ice was fucking terrible. Everything else was pretty decent. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. I actually opened your DM rigs and looking through the uh, through the guesses. <laughs> I already kind of I see the winners. kind of decent like I, I got on top of the venge flies oh spoke too soon but yeah they was uh their hp was already kind of zero <laughs> <clears throat> i decided to just damage tank here and go for like as much trick as i can <clears throat> that was a good call it, it is like very very fast uh, grass mother I needed to wait a little bit more here, because the higher you down, uh, stagger him, the more he will fall down, the longer. I found how False Knight doesn't get uh, freeze frames from Great Slash, but uh, Failed Champion does. That's an yeah, interesting one. <clears throat> Uh. Oh, my back! My back! <laughs> <clears throat> Decided to heal, yeah. Ah, didn't go uh, far enough to the right, so I didn't get like a hit on her. Could have been like a second, couple seconds faster, easily. 
told these that you. <laughs> nice uh, dash slash. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, here I knew that he's like dead. I was slow, Gorp. Quite slow, but not the worst you can get. It's just, you just went all in on the DPS here. Just stagger him and do like the dark. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, 112 runners are slow, Shink say. What I can, what can I say? <laughs> I should have went on the right to put him into the, like bully corner, and here I'm trying to, to change the corners. That was that was so much DPS. That was that was like mwah, beautiful, beautiful. That was amazing. I shriek. Another sh oh, and I got hit. That, that's fine. Small tiny mistake, other, other than that, very, very good DPS. Yes. Oh. We got knocked out of the sh second shriek. Still very fast. And I missed, yeah, I missed double dream nail here, but it's fine. It's like fine, I think. Best RNG possible, let's go. It's like. This is so beautiful. This is like the best possible pattern they can give you. Fucking parry. Of course. And I can skip the bench here. The best feeling. Look at the best possible time, chat. Best possible time 316.04 already. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm like, I'm ascending the pantheons, I'm ascending the pantheon of hollowness in front of your very eyes. <clears throat> this pantheon 5 is so blessed for me right now. And like, such a good pattern on Soul Master too. And I kind of, a, li a little bit, scre screwed it up a little bit. Missed tiny bit of DPS. <coughs> Still decent. Still decent chat. <laughs> it, it's very good P5, nothing to reframe the, here. Rusk. Good triples, good triples. I need to learn like a wall pogos here. It saves a couple seconds. I think I'm gonna add this to my list of practice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> kind of push them away, but I have a lot of soul. <clears throat> that was like a decent one. It's when you get something bad in the run, spirit, and try to find a positive in it. Often gets redeemed, you know, out of place. Look at these mistakes, I got hit twice already. <clears throat> that was a good uh, dash slash, and I decided to heal a couple times. I shouldn't have healed three. It, it leaves me with too, too, too little of a soul. That was a big mistake. I shouldn't have gone for Shriek here. I don't know what am I th what I was thinking about. You see, I'm out of soul here because I healed too much, and I don't have I don't have Shriek. That was like you see, as one extra heal that I shouldn't have done just screws me up here entirely. <laughs> I think I recovered. Oh, I dashed into the spikes, of course. No Wazanki, this is very fun when it happens uh, out of place. 
<laughs> what am I doing? I failed to buffer and jump out of dash. The last dunk was intentional. <laughs> I think each of them has its own HP, if I recall correctly. I don't remember how much. I trapped her very nice. Yeah, she died. Although Spirit, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Again, I missed two nail hits. Yeah, and I was out of soul because I healed. You see how soul management is important. I'm losing so much time to, to like, bad soul manager. Oh my god. <laughs> These parries are so cursed. Oh, this broken vessel is horrible. Holy shit. Everything is bad about this broken vessel. And he's like dead. Yeah, four hits, he's dead. <clears throat> this like beginning, uh, th this section of Colo 2 was really rough. Sisters of Battle into Broken Vessel was really rough. This Galen is pretty good though. Look at this DPS. I'm missing a couple nail hits here at the end, but... Pantheon. I meant Pantheon. Fuck, I always confuse them. Galen was good. It was my redemption arc. And look at this Shio. Well, one mistake. Two mistakes. Missing double. That, that was... His, well, he was like already dead. Call of five. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad, but yeah, I'm like throwing a little bit. At least I can skip the bench. So, 236, still like a good pace, and best possible time is 316. That was bad. Like, misplaced my up slash and didn't jump here. Doing like mistakes, recovery. That was a good shriek, despite the damage. That was, that was like a good hive night. <laughs> oh, look at this elder who he just doesn't want to do pancakes and he's dead very good <clears throat> this is even more blessed than in, in pantheon 3 another collector scream skip let's go i missed the six hit here i think and I missed another one, losing a lot of DPS here. Or... And I got staggered. Yeah, th that was a uh, quite sloppy collector. Like, really sloppy one. I missed like 4 nail hits. Which is like 120 damage, 120 damage. Going for the nail DPS! Yeah, that... Fucking parry just to lose a little bit of time. <laughs> In my PB here, I fucked up Grim. I accidentally triggered his like scream too early. Shit. Missed the nail hit. <laughs> yeah, this is like. He's like dead. He's already dead. And I found sweet spot on accident. And I got knocked out. That was that was troll, 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 troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little troll at the end. Still good. That was good. Hmm. Look at the best possible time, chat. It keeps getting better. <laughs> I'm three minutes ahead right now. <laughs> Spirit! Oh, this is actually... Oh, wow, this is like... Very sneaky prediction. We'll see. 
three minutes ahead, yeah. And look how I'm killing them, how quick they die. They just explode. They fucking melt. Look at this great slash. And Shriek, one, two, dead. And a double. This is just like, they f they're fucking dead. Let's check what Umu will give give us. <laughs> at this point, I'm I'm super. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of nervous. Not gonna lie. You see how safely I'm doing that. That's that was like super safe play. Of course, like Jellyfish, Soul Collection, that's like very good. Almost full Soul, almost full HP, a decent setup for uh, Nosket. Oh, that was a bad one. And Post Fat Finger, another Post Fat Finger. Ah, that's like a choke, a little bit of an unfortunate one. And she goes into the ceiling. Uh, I didn't. I don't go for nail hits here. I should do it. I. I I've seen blue does it. I'm. I'm losing. What am I doing? Like, oh wow, <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I was like, that was bad, but you know, not not terrible. Just bad. Yeah, good point. Good point. I will add that. Like, I know exactly what I'm doing wrong, but I definitely should learn this strat here. Oh, oh, and I got lucky! Let's go. <laughs> I tried to go for Black Moon strat here. Into like, cheeky nail hit into Shade Cloak through and another nail hit. I even got it once. <laughs> At the beginning I thought I will go for the bench skip, but then I started getting hit. Like that, yeah. Oh, and parry. That was like, yeah, at this point I gave up on the bench skip pretty much. And I've noticed that I'm like kind of losing time, so I just went and fucking DPS. Oh yeah, for sure DeLorean a lot. I usually watch my runs, but not not entirely. Like I know places that I screwed up and I watch them, but watching a full run is, is really teaches me a lot. I just realized how unpol I mean I kinda knew it always, but just seeing that I kind of see how just unpolished your movement is. It's it's pretty fast, but you see the small small things. Oh, this hit was un so unlucky by the ghost. I was. This is very bad, Lost Skin. Lost Skin just hates me this run, and I guess I'm kind of not not executing him very very well. Let's see if No Ice in Pantheon Five gives me better luck. Look at my soul. Like my soul is nothing. I decided to heal because you can lose a lot of time here. Dashed into spikes, wow. And Mr. Shriek, and another hit. That was a good double. <laughs> like, not very good, let's be honest. I <laughs> sure Stein against things with good luck. <laughs> but at least I get the scream skip uh, in Pantheon 5. I learned my mistakes from the previous one. Oh. <laughs> that was a decent uh, assault tower. Uh, that was a decent rate to lower. Yeah, sure, shy. <laughs> no ice didn't uh, didn't went well in pantheons. <laughs> I didn't have soul for another shriek, so I just went. St 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 so I just stood there, kind of. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I'm waiting for the scream here. Like, I know that the scream is like right there. Yeah, I pressed the dash there, but it's just too late. I was in the freak animation. So couldn't get it. But good fight, good fight. Losing, losing time because of no ice and broken vessel. But I mean, you know. <clears throat> and I still, even though I lost time, started losing time here. I went for the like soul. But yeah, that, that that's not good time loss. It's like 14 seconds to gold. Uh, 316 is kind of in danger now. At this point, I'm super nervous. I'm like, my nerves are up high. I definitely felt it. That was good soul tyrant so far. Mr. Nail hit. Hey, what? <laughs> like, I felt the nerves here. And he can't aim as usual, just spawns. Like, fuck you. Markov kind of yeah, decided to be a little bit of a dick. You see him going down. He, he, he just wants to go down. At this point, I, I, I just, yeah, I just go below here and yeah, 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 nice, nice. That was pretty shitty pattern, but I handled it pretty well. <laughs> Nice hit and good D Dark into Shriek. Very good so far, despite the getting hit. He was like, yeah, he was like almost staggered, so I was like super careful not to lose any HP. <laughs> Just beautiful D Dark. This is like a bit scary because um, I don't have soul, and if uh, Fail Champion goes into the corner, it's kind of sketchy. You have to lose time to avoid the hit. And he doesn't go into corner, that's lucky. I missed one nail hit. You see, I don't go for the great slash here. Because of the freeze frames. Here I don't have any though. Oh, I think it's only the final one. Yeah, I don't go for the great slash here. Yeah, yeah. You see, I have almost 20 seconds to save here. Look, 334 gold, 351 PB. <laughs> so it can be like minus 330. And this is like NKG, I practice him so much. Good. I'm so nervous there, chat. Like, I'm, I'm actually like, my nerves are... And this is like mistake, I go to the right, not to the left. Up slash instead of side slash and oh my god, what am I doing? I decided to play it safe here, not go for the third one. I know that he will stagger anyway. So yeah, cyclone into the stagger. Decent soul collection by the way. And still go for only two because I, I, I'm nervous, I'm playing it safe. And now I know that he will die on the third balloon. He will fucking die on the third balloon. He's dead. And... Oh no. I got bamboozled. And I missed it. And he has, he has like... Like 150 HP or 200 HP something. He, he has a lot of HP. And I'm missing my great slash. I'm like... I'm like full panic mode. I'm like, what... Like, okay, he's dead, and and he staggers. Chat, he fucking staggers. <laughs> and I'm getting hit again. Oh, look at the time loss. Look at the time loss. I'm losing 30. And I need to take the bench. I have to take the bench now. Look at the time loss to gold. 
40 seconds, 40 seconds chat. On one boss, pretty much. <laughs> Look at the best possible time, 3.17.15. And look at my stream title, the time will shock you. <laughs> okay, my... I can still, like... You see, I have, like, what? Uh, 15 seconds here of a time save. And I can go to Radiance, I know it. <clears throat> Very good uh, pure vessel right now. That was, like, that was the best pure vessel I've ever had, I'm pretty sure. That was in, in, incredibly fast pure vessel. <clears throat> I, at this point, I'm looking at my best possible time. I'm looking at, and I'm, I'm like, like, holy shit, what's happening? Just fucking hold it. Just like, don't die. I didn't care about top two anymore. I, I wasn't attached at all. I was just, I just wanted to finish the run. Look at the look at the nail hits, and I'm gain, I'm I'm, don't, I'm not going like bananas. You see, I'm I'm like playing reasonably well. I'm not playing reasonably safe. I'm not trying like to kill the run here like blue usually does. Blue just goes like, you know, head to head like, HP doesn't exist anymore. Just blue and his nail. <laughs> I'm I'm not like that. <laughs> and spawns spawns are not the best, not gonna lie. But I'm 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 playing it well. Look at this dodge. And Radiance, please, this is like the worst. This is like so bad. I decided to like fuck it. I'm gonna f and ah <laughs> I missed the wall hit wall wall grab. Okay, she's dead. That was a big time loss. That was a big time loss though. That fall. Like, my, my hands are shaking, like, I'm, I'm not feeling well, like, ah, the heat, I have 2 HP, 2 more hits and I'm dead. <laughs> Shriek, I don't have more soul, I went for 2. Fuck it, the, just just wait here, yeah, going, going for safety. Yeah, she spawns another fat finger pause. I was so scared, yeah, the panic, and GG's, and holy shit, what will be the time? <laughs> The first fa phase was perfect, the second phase was unlucky and I fucking... And I fucking fell down. And the save after Fat Finger, yeah. What will be the time? <laughs> yeah, I have like a minute on one process. <laughs> oh, this is the most epic bop in like speedrunning history. <laughs> so I have a time predictions from Riggs. Um <laughs> I said I will gift like within uh, uh, within like a minute barrier uh, subs to people who like guessed it five subs, and we have a winner. Sour, the first person. Holy shit! There, there was actually an actual guess. There was like a guess. A cheek tutti. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the fuck? It's actually the winner. <laughs> they have won. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's go to my Twitch channel while we're waiting for the credits. Like, you know it will be 112. <laughs> Let me give the subs. Um, uh, how do you give to a person? Uh, do you like... <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that was so fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, get specific if you were. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Chicky Tutti guessed the time exactly with a prediction of 3 17 28. So, e exact, exact guess. Let me make sure that I'm like copy pasting the name correctly. Okay, yes. <laughs> Okay, the first one, eat. <laughs> Who's the second place? <laughs> 317, 20, Prince Krieg. With the second best guess just within seven seconds. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Four hours long category. Guess the time within seven seconds. I understand why somebody could have guessed like one second Bob just as a meme, you know, but guessing within seven seconds is actually incredibly impressive. <laughs> Prince Creek. We'll get another sub. And eat. Okay, who's the third place? Let's check. 317. <laughs> O3 blue SR, but blue already has a sub. <laughs> so blue doesn't get his sub. I guess, oh, well, I, th I think, I mean, it's not fair, right? Blue have guessed it. So I think I need to gift a sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need to gift a sub to blue. <laughs> Let me do this. 